Hello YouTube, it's me again. I'm here with F1 Manager again. Hooray! I should probably move my layout so it's like not in the way. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Look, it's F1 Manager 23. Um, yeah, so uh, so this game just came out. Frontier sent me a copy of the game. Um, I guess because they saw my streams and stuff from last time. Uh, and yeah, last time I played this, I did a challenge thing. I did a thing where I would play the game with no pausing and no fast forwarding. So I did everything in real time. Uh, which means the races took like three hours to do. Because <laughs> of all the, the practice and qualifying and the actual race and stuff. Um, it was an interesting experiment, but uh, I didn't even finish a full season. Because uh, it was just taking way too long um, and it wasn't that interesting. And I had a bunch of uh, I had a bunch of complaints and issues with the game as well. I, I thought it was just like a very slightly different version of Motorsport Manager with some improvements. But anyway, the F1 Manager 23 is out. Um, they've made a bunch of improvements. I've heard people say the game is good. They've made the game like they made the AI smarter, so the game's harder. So I shouldn't just be like fucking floor like flooring the AI this time. Um, I can't remember all the things they did. I, I did read some lists and stuff. I'm kind of just YOLOing this YouTube intro. <laughs> I didn't prepare anything, so we're just going. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to play the game again. I don't think I'm going to do the no pausing, no fast forwarding thing. Because um, that was pretty dumb. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the rain doesn't fuck the AI too much anymore. We'll see. Are there difficulty oh, options? Hey, there aren't. Ace no. Lurker just resubscribed for three months. Um, full how's season, the game real volume, time. Oh, Josh Anjuri. Can I? Uh, yeah, I'll try to do a full season. Like full real season, real time. No, 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 not real time. Fuck that. Okay, I can't change what audio device this is coming out of, so I'm gonna have to use this thing. Um, how do I change game? Does that work? That does work. Okay, good. Right, turn that one down. Okay, good. Um. Yeah, so I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play normally. I don't think I'm going to do anything fancy. No non-pausing crap like that. Just Let's just play the game properly. Let's see what Ball happens. Walk, the pinnacle of motorsport. It's Crofty. With global audience and drama to match. All the attention is now on race circuits around the world. Waiting for the start of the fastest show on earth. Last year's regulation changes saw closer on track battles. Anyone expecting a smooth ride from the 2023 season is in for a shock. With a shake up in the paddock, resulting in the signing of several new team principals, F1 is primed and ready to light up the world stage. Team principals will already be talking tactics, boosting the confidence of their drivers, and ensuring their pit crews make those box times as tight as possible. With a new era of racing now well underway, more teams than ever will be vying for points, podiums, and a chance at the championship. This is Formula One. Spoilers for Stabman won everything. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is the this is based on the latest championship. It seems like they're gonna do yearly Red updates. Bull took the F1 world by storm in 2022, defending their drivers' championship title and bringing home the constructors championship for the first time since 2013. The new season will see the continuation of Dream Team, Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. Right. They're flying high on the back of their success, but they can't afford to rest on their laurels if they want to dominate 2023 <laughs> in the way they did last year. Oh boy, Perez. Yeah, so this is like, it's it's sort of like one of those yearly game release things, but also actually gets improvements, at least early on, right? I imagine at some point, they reach a point where they've improved the game enough where it just works, and then every year they just release a roster update and nothing actually changes, right? Because, you know, the early FIFA games back in, like, fucking 90s or whatever, they'd get better every time. Um, but I imagine at some point, and the F1 games, the actual F1 racing games did as well, but I, I bet this doesn't... Oh yeah, if you didn't, hey, you didn't know what this game is, sorry, I should probably do an intro to what the game is. This is a, it's an F1 simulator game, but instead of you being the driver, you're the team manager. So it's like football manager sort of style game, right? Which I really like the idea of football manager, but I just fucking hate football, so I've never played it. But I've played a game like this before called Motorsport Manager, and I put hundreds of hours into that. So I, I, I really want to like this game. I really want to like it. But yeah, F1 Manager 20, 
2 I didn't like as much, but I, yeah, again, it may have been because of the no fast forwarding thing. All right, that's Bread Ball. So this is kind of the difficulty selection. Chat, you asked me about that a second ago. This is kind of the difficulty selection, right? So if I pick Red Bull, I'm going to be winning. Like, I, I've got the fastest car. I've got the best driver. Singular. I have I have so much budget. Like, I, I'm going to struggle to, like, not spend too much. Um, yeah, Re Red Bull is, like, the easiest. And then as we go down, it'll get harder. Ferrari should not be second. That's kind of weird. I guess this is the 2022 standings. This is, like, um... Yeah... This is, uh, this is all jumbled up from, like, how the standings are actually this year. Anyway, let's move on. On paper, Ferrari had a stellar season in 2022, taking home second place in both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championships. <laughs> but some high-profile errors marred their year, and second place felt like a poor consolation prize to what really could have been. Returning in 2023 with drivers Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz and a new team principal at the helm, they need to fix those past mistakes to be in with a chance of claiming that top spot. I don't think the faces are that bad. I don't know what you guys are complaining about, but they, they look okay to me. Okay, that's... I mean, they're... It's more just like they're... Anim I think the animations are the problem and not so much the actual, like, model themselves. Maybe? It's hard to know, right? But, like, you only ever see their faces in this. Like, whatever. Right, McLaren? was a tough year for Mercedes. Taking home third in the Constructors' Championship, they broke their eight-year winning streak. And although they eventually made up for an early slow start, it was too little, too late. The team returned this season once again with the all-British driver pairing of Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. And they'll be aiming to claim back the crown. They've done it before, and they know exactly what it's going to take to do it again. Did I say McLaren? Yeah, obviously I meant Mercedes. Yeah, so it is interesting. They've obviously based this on real life, right? So Mercedes has, like, a good budget. Their season objective is second. I really don't think that's the case. But, like, so the difficulty in the game would come to, like, your team, if you don't perform well enough, will fire you, which is, like, game over, basically. So Mercedes is, like, you better get second or at least third or you're out, right? Whereas, like, yeah, Ferrari, like, if you Red Bull, you're going to have to win. Take Alpine, replace Otmar, yeah, 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 yeah. In Alpine's debut 2021 season, they finished fifth in the championship. And in their 2022 run, they claimed fourth. But will the loss of veteran driver Fernando Alonso stall their entry into the top three this season? Or will Esteban what the Alcon, fuck? alongside fellow countryman Pierre Gasly, a new transfer to the team, be the fuel they need to break through? Only time and racing excellence will tell. <laughs> Ocon's face looks really weird. <laughs> Why does Ocon's look weird? I guess it is, yeah, just like Ocon after a bar fight, yeah. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Alpine, like, really overperformed last year, so they're way higher up on this. Um, yeah, their long-term, everyone's long-term objective is going to be Constructors' Champion, surely. All right, McLaren. A frustrating finish oh, really, what? For McLaren, who ended fifth in the Constructors' Championship, down <laughs> place from the year before. They return for 2023, with Lando Norris, the only driver outside the top three teams, to earn a podium in 2022 and the highly sought-after rookie, Oscar Piastri. With this ambitious lineup behind the wheel, McLaren are set to fight their way back up the grid this season. So for those who haven't watched the actual F1 season this year, this listing here is really funny, because at the start of the year, Aston Martin were, like, over here, right? They had jumped, like, a ton of spots. They were doing really well. Ferrari and Mc Mercedes were nowhere. Alpine was really shit. Alfa Tori is the worst. Williams is over here. Haas is probably about there. But now, now, now at this point in the season, which is like halfway through the season, McLaren is probably like here, maybe here. Right? McLaren is fucking killing it right now. So to see McLaren here, season objective seventh, long term objective podium contender. It's like what's actually happening in real life is that, yeah, McLaren are fucking like. They're second right now. They're only losing to Verstappen, and that's it. Right? Maybe not so much last race, but 
the two races before that, they were doing so fucking good. Alfa Romeo showed off their fighting spirit in 2022, battling their way to sixth in the Constructors' Championship with an all-new driver pairing of Valtteri Bottas and Joe Guanyu. <laughs> the pair have proven they've got what it takes, and in 2023, they'll be returning to the track and looking to push their way back up the grid. The Hinville team begin the new season expecting to face tough competition from those battling it out in a very tight midfield. Am, am I allowed this on stream? On Twitch? Do you see this? Yeah, so for those who don't know, uh, Kick, their parent company, Stake, they, uh, they're the title sponsor of Alfa Romeo this year. <laughs> so, so the Alfa Romeo has Kick branding on it. <laughs> Please don't ban me, Twitch. Maybe you should sponsor an F1 team. Aston Martin ended the 2022 season in seventh place, although sixth was almost within their grasp. Alongside significant investment and state-of-the-art facilities, this year could be their chance to shine. They've traded one multiple championship winning driver for another by signing Fernando Alonso after Sebastian Vettel's retirement. And with Lance Stroll rounding out their lineup, Aston Martin are primed to push their way up the standings. If they actually did, Sergeant Adman, I probably wouldn't have just drawn attention to it. <laughs> Fernand Alonso is 50. Let's have a look at Alonso. Yeah, okay, even though they're down here, they still have... Fur yeah, okay, so... Oh, yeah, God, Alonso looks ancient. Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah, so I guess because, like, the, the Frontier, the devs, they would have seen the start of the season. So... Aston Martin are actually over here, right? So if they're going by the start of the season balancing, then Aston Martin should actually be aiming for third, right? But what is the standings right now? I'll, I'll get it up. Hang on. Haas finished last season eighth in the Constructors' Championship. An improvement over past years, but still far from desired. Yeah, Frontier, With yeah. Nico Hülkenberg returning to F1 to join the team, as well as Kevin Magnussen continuing in his seat, Haas have opted for a more experienced driver pairing on the grid in 2023. With the team's trademark perseverance, they'll be eager to convert that experience and passion into valuable points. Oh yeah, God, K-Mag looks like he's also 50. Jesus Christ. What does Magnussen look like? Uh, okay. Wait, they're, they're the same person. What am I fucking saying? Wait, who, who did I just say? No, Holkenberg looks like he's 50, sorry. I'm fucking looking at people and saying the wrong name out loud. Uh, yeah, so Aston Martin are still currently third, but only by five points. Ferrari are probably going to overtake them. McLaren are up to fifth. It was a disappointing Mercedes is second. 2022 season for Alpha Tauri, leaving them in ninth oh no, Sonoda. Since taking on the new name. But they can't afford to dwell on disaster if they're going to battle their way back up the standings. Now with the signing of Nick DeVries alongside returning driver Yuki Tsunoda, it's time for Alpha Tauri to shake off last year's troubles and prove they've got what it takes. Is there an achievement to replace Nick with Danny? Yeah, so f in the actual F1 uh, 23 season, the real life... Uh, this guy, Nick Nick DeFries, he got replaced mid-season by Daniel Ricciardo because he was doing so terribly. <laughs> they, they kicked him out and replaced him. So it's kind of funny to see him on all these intros, but he's not actually on Alpha Tori anymore. But also, Sonoda, the other driver, looks fucking terrible, Jesus. DeFries doesn't look that bad. But, yeah, Sonoda looks really weird. Oh, that angle is not too bad. Okay, Williams. Tenth in the constructors championship is not where Williams. What the fuck is that album? But that won't stop them fighting. Debutants Logan Sargent joins for the new season after a stellar F2 performance, driving alongside his more experienced teammate. Oh no! With the right leadership, the team is set to come out swinging in 2023. Alvin looks terrible. Oh no! I, I think Logan Sargent's all right. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with Alvin? Oh, dear. Okay, right, that's all the teams. Uh, Williams is actually... Uh, Williams is 7th right now in the Constructors. They're tied with Haas for 11. 
So joint joint seventh, huh? That's interesting. Yeah. So so here's 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 the current real world standings, right? Um, whoop. So Red Bull have literally twice as many points as everyone else. So Red Bull, if you pick Red Bull in this game, that's easy mode, right? <laughs> and then yeah, Mercedes, two hundred forty-seven. They're doing okay in second. Aston Martin were doing really well, but they've just dropped the ball towards the end. Yeah, Ferrari, and then there's a massive... So these guys are pretty close. There's a massive gap to McLaren, but they're doing really well recently. Alpine is just sat in the middle. And then, yeah, Williams and Haas and Alfa Romeo are battling. And then Alfa Tori is just doing so shit. How do you have three points when someone has 500? Yes. Do you know what's really depressing? So you see how Mercedes has 247. If I go on drivers... Verstappen himself has 314. <laughs> so, Verstappen himself is winning the Constructors' Chandings. They don't need Perez. Perez could not exist and they would be winning the Constructors' Standings. Which is really fucking sad. Oh, dear. Alright, anyway. Um... Yeah, so who, who am I picking here? Um, uh, pick Williams in honor of Kubica in 2009. Haas? Uh, I mean, didn't didn't I pick um, didn't I pick McLaren last time? I picked McLaren last time because they were the prolapse colors, and I kind of was like a middle of the the road team, right? Um. Roll a D10. Let's have a let's have a let's have a straw poll. Straw poll. Uh, let's do um, which team? And it's uh, we need ten options. R Red Bull. Uh, Ferrari. Sorry if I spell any of these names wrong. By the way, uh, Mer Mercedes. Alpine, McLaren, Alpha Romeo, uh, Aston, Ma Aston Martin, Haas, Alpha Tori, Williams. I probably spelt some of those wrong, like I said, but whatever. Uh... Create poll. Okay, how do I share this? There's a share button. Copy. Alright, there you go. There's the okay, link. Thanks. Mortis underscore 87 just resubscribed for three months. McLaren since I was little and always will be. <laughs> I played McLaren last time. It does make the most sense. They're the middle of the road team with a lot of potential. I have the fucking shirt for them. They're prolapse colours, but I, I don't want to do the same team every time. Alright, I'll just click show results. What are we doing? So, so currently, currently Williams is in the lead with 17 votes. Oh, baby. Um, whoop. Yeah, William, know what free people want Mercedes. Alright, I'll, I'll post the link in chat again in case people missed it. There you go. If you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, sorry, this is kind of a crap start to the YouTube video. <laughs> Josh Haas is a type of avocado. Okay. For, for a lot of people for Aston Martin, which is pretty interesting. But it seems like most people want me to pick Williams. You want me to pick Williams and try to go from, from zero to hero, right? Or just struggle at the back or whatever. Okay. Yeah, it seems pretty clear to me that most people want Williams here. Okay, okay. A lot of McLaren votes. Who wants me to do Red Bull? Come on, that would be so simple. And no one wants Mercedes. <laughs> Why is Mercedes the least voted? That's kind of weird. That's actually surprising to me. Alright, okay, okay. Can you swap drivers? Yeah. Yeah, you can fire people and swap them, but in between seasons and stuff, six, I think. All right, Williams it is then. I, I, I'm okay. This is this is what I would have chosen. If I couldn't pick McLaren, I would pick Williams. So that's okay. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I was talking about that, Eric's. Hopefully the game is harder this year. I've heard things, heard people say it's harder, so hopefully it is. Um, let me, I also have a bunch of extra stuff I don't need to open. Let's close a bunch of stuff. I still had uh, my muting tool running, which is technically cheat engine, which is a bad idea. <laughs> okay, right, okay. Alright, Williams it is, let's go. Continue. Uh, Williams, my forename is Josh. My surname is I I I Imus. There we go. Uh, first time manager. Returning manager. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pick returning manager. So, so I won't pick the first time because I have played motorsport management games before. I'll pick uh, returning. Uh, camera positioning is going to be a constant battle here, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Returning manager, Josh Imus. Uh, did I do uh, Joshua Edwards last time? We'll do Josh Imus because that's funny. All right, let's go. Uh, team details cannot be edited later. However, you can just disable first time clients anytime. I sure want to continue. All right, we're going. We're fucking going. Should have an actual manager option, yeah. Hi, I'm Audrey, one of the team engineers. Okay. I'll be on hand to help as you refamiliarize yourself with how things work and show you what's new. Okay, so sh so she's going to explain what's new between the games, I suppose. We're very excited to have you join us here at Williams. We're ready to put in the hard work and achieve our aim of becoming points contenders in the 2023 season. There's no time to waste. So this is actually relevant because in real life, Williams got a new manager at the start of the season as well. So they got James Vowles, didn't they? Do you think Ferrari's strategy will improve with game release? Yeah. Nothing is new. We only had four weeks to make this go nuts. <laughs> okay. All right. So so here's the home screen. Um, we've got standings. We've got about the... The, the board, how confident they are in me. Oh, look at the all outside flags. That's nice. They're a bit stretched, though. We got our drivers. We got Alex Alban. To ensure your team is developing as desired, you can set up a targeted development plan for any of your drivers. Okay. Um, targeted you to development. your staff to focus on specific areas of their development, you can do so here. Okay, so you can pick where people develop now. Okay. Each driver on the team has development rate, which demonstrates the potential to improve and grow into the role. As the season progresses, older drivers may experience attribute deterioration. The better they perform, the longer they will still do. Yeah, okay. Staff members will be assigned to specific development focus to guide their training. The staff member will only improve attributes associated with the selected development focus. There are additional contri contributions to both driver and staff development for star, blah, 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 morale. Yeah, okay. So, so this is one of the new things. So you can pick where people, like, improve. So if I want Alex to, like, get better at wet weather driving, I can tell him to focus on improving his wet weather driving, and he'll do that instead. Um, anyway, we're getting ahead of myself. Sorry, I was just clicking around. But here's my two drivers. We've got Alex Alban from Thailand, sort of also England. Um, he, he was in F1 for a while. He was in Alpha Tori, like Red Bull's second team. Then Ricardo left, so he got swooped into the main Red Bull team. Uh, but then he got fucked, and then he got kicked out of the main Red Bull team. <laughs> then he wasn't doing anything for a while. Then he got hired by Williams to be their main driver, and he's he's doing really well in Williams. So Red Bull are like, ah, oh, fuck, we shouldn't have kicked him out or whatever. But, but yeah, he's doing really well in uh, Red in uh, Williams. I know they were called Toro Rosso. I'm trying to keep it simple. <laughs> uh, and then we got Logan Sargent. From the United States of America. Um, yeah, he's... Uh, he exists. <laughs> um, he, he's not really that great. He, he's... There's this thing in... There's this thing in F1 called a pay driver. I don't know if Logan Sargent is, but I'll just explain what it means. It means, like, some people just have a lot of money and not a lot of talent. And will pay the F1 team to be driving for them as opposed to the F1 team to pay them, right? Um, or like some sort of like, you know, we'll pay you, but you pay us more through sponsorship or whatever. Um, is Logan Sargent a pay driver? I don't know if that, I don't know if we know that or not. Um, they are still extremely good. You still have to be really good to be able to drive an F1 car at all. 
yeah, it's like the, the it's like Logan Sargent might be like the fortieth best driver in the world or something. He's still fucking insanely good, but you know when compared to the top twenty, it's kind of hard, right? He got fourth in his full first full year of F two. Okay, so he was just good. So he's uh, walking USA advertisement for F one, right? Okay, and who the hell is my reserve driver? Look to point. I've ne the pont. Who the hell is this? I don't know anything about this person. I've never seen this face. Uh, career? What? Where's their F2 career? I guess I can't see their F2 career. This must be like a F2, F3 driver, right? I don't know who this is. So, if in order for you to be able to drive in F1, you need to get enough points. Oh, he's a fake driver because their reserve is an F2 driver. Oh, okay, that's funny. <laughs> and they can't have... Oh my god, so they can't have F2 drivers and reserve drivers for the main team. Oh my god, that's stupid limitation. Their current driver is Mick. Oh, okay, whatever. Anyway, it doesn't actually exist. Um, But anyway, yeah, so you have a reserve driver who never actually really does anything, but in theory would replace one of the drivers if they get injured or something. But never actually happens. Um... I'm luck to point. Uh, okay, so so it's the start of the season. Have we done testing and stuff? Let's read my inbox. Hi, welcome to Williams. It's very exciting to have you on board, and we're more than ready to take the season. We just joined the team. We'll let you know that our sponsor obligations are already being negotiated for the season. We're negotiating sponsorship deals with the team. We offer blah, 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 blah. so yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep our sponsors happy and do the things that they want us to do. I've attached the link to the sponsor obligations. Okay, so sponsor obligations. Here's what our sponsors, the people that are paying for the team, want us to do. Driver appearance. One or both of your drivers must make media appearances throughout the season. Okay. So, they want our drivers to do 14 media appearances um, for a sponsor. It doesn't say what company. But there's a company that's like, we'll give you this money if your drivers go to 14 media events in the year for us. And yeah, it's saying the downside is that while their drivers are busy doing that, they won't get better at being race car drivers, and they probably won't, like, rest or anything either. Um, yeah. But they give us $7 million for it, so, okay. That's fine. Um, memorabilia room event. Your team must host a sponsor event in your memorabilia room. The facility will be closed while hosting, so staff will not gain the usual morale boost. Yeah, okay, so my staff won't get morale boosts from the memorabilia room while we're using that. Your team must host a sponsor event in the pit box during races. This will distract your pit crew and slightly reduce their performance. Okay, so for fucking... For, for over half the races... Oh my god, 15 races! We need to be hosting people in the fucking pit box. Oh, that's really annoying. This is a thing you see... On the races, the one times the camera crew go in there and show like famous people or part party people like watching the pit crew and stuff. So yeah, but Williams need the money, yo. Your team must host a sponsor event in your race simulator. Your drivers won't be able to use the simulator while you're hosting these events, so the development will be slower. Fifteen times our fucking sim is being used up by the fucking sponsors as well. Isn't it five races technically since each race week is three days? Oh, well, race days, it says not. Maybe. It might be weekends. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah you might be right. Uh, and merchandising. Your team must create merchandise featuring your sponsors. Paying to have that merchandise made requires upfront costs, but selling it will increase your sponsor income per race. Jesus, $11 million to make fucking merch? Jesus Christ. Okay. For just shy of 4,000 bits of merchandise? That, uh, that seems like a lot. <laughs> okay, alright. So those are our sponsorship things. So we don't have anything crazy. This should all just happen automatically. Okay. Uh, what else is in my inbox? Not much. Okay. Um, so let's go through all the screens. So we got home. This just tells us, like, basic information, upcoming events, and all that stuff. We got inbox. This is where, like, yeah, all the events happen. I just get, like, emails sent to me, basically. Uh, here's the calendar. So it's the 20th of February. Um, on the 6th of February, we did sponsorship stuff. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so this is all stuff that happened prior to me starting. So pre-season testing and all that is done. So you start at the start of the season. So we don't do pre-season testing or car reveals or car designs or anything. You just start like, with, here's your car, here's your team before the first race go. So the first race is on the 3rd of March it starts. That's Bahrain. So I have just over a week to prepare for the first race. Um, and yeah, we'll get the pre-season testing results at the end of this. Okay. Uh, here's a list of all the tracks. We're going to Sarkir first, the Bahrainian Grand Prix. 57 lap race. Yep, so the track, so we got some stats about the track here. Let me move uh, this up here so we can read it a bit better. So here's some basic stats. So there's no, it's not going to rain. We're in the desert, we're in Bahrain, it's never going to rain, we're fine. Uh, the track is reasonably abrasive, so tire wear will be like normal. We have C3, C2 and C1s. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll grab your shampoo for you. Sorry, I need to help Faye a sec. Um, read the track stats a second. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Right, yeah, so the track is medium abrasive as, you know, we, there's always been a safety car here apparently. Every single race there's been a safety car. And a pit stop takes 22 seconds. We could probably get more stats about this, right? Yeah, here you go. Here's the map. Why 57 laps and not 60 or 50 or something? Oh hey, thanks. It's based on distance. Best evolution just resubscribed for 24 months, yay two years. So... Simply lovely. So they they try to I believe they try to get to 300 kilometers or something. I can't remember exactly how it's worked out, but it's based on like race distance. So if the track was like shorter, they do more laps, and if it was longer, they do less laps. So it says 308 kilometers. Um, yeah, okay. So it so it has to be 305 kilometers long the whole race. So they got to 308 and then stopped, so it's 57 laps, that's how it works out. Thanks to the revolution for 24 months, yeah, <laughs> simply lovely, yeah. Here's the track map. So we got, uh, we got our DRS zones, we got our sectors, we got our corner numbers. Yep, DRS detections. There's the track by speed. So, the purple is the fastest. Green is fast, yeah, medium, so we got some fast corners. We got a few, a lot, a few slow corners, a few medium corners. This is a fairly balanced track, actually. A lot of straight lines, though. Yeah, here's the thing: that car has to be good at. So acceleration, our medium speed cornering is very important. Um, but so is our low speed. Our DRS is going to be important because there's a lot of there's the free DRS zones on this track. Um, and yeah, we need to be good at acceleration, accelerating out of these slow corners. Yeah, 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 the straights have, like, slow and medium corners before them. Um, time considerations. So if, so if you pit under a green flag, it costs 20 seconds. If you pit under a safety or virtual car, it costs 16 seconds to pit. Okay. Yeah, so... So over, so over the, the... Over the years, how many times has this track been run? Whatever, every single time this track has ever been run, there's been a safety car. There's never been... There's never been zero safety cars. <laughs> Is it four? Yeah, four. The four times we've done a race on this track, there's always been at least one safety car. One time there was two. So, when you do the race, right, you've got to plan, like, okay, there probably will be a safety car at some point, got to plan for it. 
Uh, yeah, here's our expected strategies. So it's just soft, soft, medium, or medium, soft, soft, or you can do a medium in the middle. So no one, don't expect us to use hards. Yeah, because the hards are just too slow. Yeah, like way too slow. And they don't last much longer than the mediums. Yeah, so the hards are kind of useless here. Um, yeah, here's the four race histories. So Hamilton, 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 Leclerc won last year, right? Um, and yeah, that's that. Okay, so that's all the information about the tracks. So we've got to remember that. So for Sarkia, Sar Sar we won't be able to change the car. It's too soon, but yeah. Here's the race buttons. This will take, tell us about the next race. Well, our performance targets for the race and all that. I'll look at that in a sec. Here's our car. Oh, look, it's got the wheels off and it's like sat under a thing. That's cool. Oh, yeah, the Duracell branding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's such a good sponsor spot. Um, so here we can manage the car. Any aerodynamic parts will undergo an inspection following every race weekend. If an aero parts condition is too low, it will fail the inspection and need replacing. How many races an aero part can last for is dictated by its durability, which is determined during the design phase. Okay, so parts have durability now. So, in the past, you would only break parts of the car if your car crashed. Otherwise, you could just keep using them forever. But now, like, yeah, the, the aero parts will just, like, they flex because as the air pushes them down. So they need replacing over time. So they have durability as well as, um... They have durability as well as statistics. So you can, like... You can design new parts and stuff like that. Um... If I click this button... Yeah, okay, so I can, like... Oh, this is really complicated to explain. <laughs> but, like... You need to get designers to design parts for your car, right? To make better ones. So... You can, you can, uh, you can focus on certain areas of, like, so this is the front wing I'm designing. Um, I could focus on, like, more downforce on, like, medium speed corners, or, like, better cooling, or maybe they'll be less sensitive to airflow disruption, or maybe they'll have better, uh, yeah, durability now. Um, there's also, you have aerodynamic testing. So each team is allotted an amount of time that they're allowed to test aerodynamic parts for. So you have uh, Williams, um, because they didn't do too well last year, has lots of testing time. Whereas like Red Bull has a lot less, right? But uh, Williams has 6.9 hours of uh, computer simulated testing, airflow testing design time. I can't remember how this has worked out. Your CFD testing limit is measured in mega allocation unit hours. And every mega allocation unit hour is equal to a thousand hours of computer simulation, right? So I have 69 million hours of computer simulation time to use for making stuff. But then you also have like an actual good old fashioned physical wind tunnel. I have 92 hours of wind tunnel time to use for, for part designing this year. Um... Williams is like an unemployed person all the time, but no money, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, so I have like limited amount of like allocation of like simulation time that I can give to parts. So if we don't actually use any simulation time, the parts my designers will make probably won't be that good. But if I start actually allocating some like wind tunnel time, this stuff starts to get better, right? Not that much. Um, but that's how much like stuff or like what I want to focus on. Uh, Aerodynamic car parts each way extra, and together will add weight to the car build. This will contribute to a reduction in certain areas of a car's performance. Ah, oh, so car parts Designing weight is important now. Higher durability will increase condition life of a part. Right. And durability improvements will come with the payoff of extra weight. Ha. Huh. Lighter car parts will last for fewer races, making them more expensive on average. So this was a big problem for the new car designs um, was that they had a weight limit. So there's like a minimum weight the car has to be. And you want to be that minimum weight because the lighter the car, the faster it is in all aspects, right? Um, and the teams were really struggling to get their car weights down to the minimum. There were only like a handful of teams that actually managed it. So they've actually added that to F1 Simulator now. So if you make your carts more durable, they'll be heavier, which is bad for the car. You want to be at the weight limit. <laughs> That's really interesting. I wonder where the weight is like. Yeah, total extra weight. 20 kilograms, yeah. I wonder if you can actually... Is there a weight limit? Like, can I go like... 
minimum lifespan on everything. <laughs> I wonder. But yeah, so here's how I can tell my designers what to focus on. So, we'll keep going through this, because parts take a while to develop. I want to see how long it will take to make this front wing. And then I want to, like, look at what races are after when the car part would be designed. And if I had lots of tracks that really wanted high-speed corners, for example, I could, like, okay, make this front wing better at high speed. By the time the front wing is designed and manufactured and we put it on the car, we'll be at tracks that have, like, high-speed corners, right? So, so I need to, like, do a bit of research here. Um, development focus. Okay. So how many engine? I have 10 engineers, so if I put to put 5 on the task of designing this... Oh, and I can tell them to rush it, um, where they'll do like overtime to try to make it, but it'll cost me more. And intense. The cost will be higher, but you'll gain a greater car part expertise bonus, which will improve future designs. Yeah, okay, so if I do intense, they'll like get better at making that part, right? Uh, right, so it takes 33 days. I don't think we want to rush anything. And I, I only have... Oh my god, I only have 18... Jesus, I'm so poor. What the fuck? I only have 18 million? The cost cap is 118 million. That's how much money I'm allowed to spend. Each team has like a limit of how much money they're allowed to spend. Like the, the slower the team, the more money they're allowed to spend, right? But... But you actually need to have that much money, like, and I don't. I have 18 million. I guess I'm going to get more money as the season goes on. But, yeah, okay. I'm supposed to have hundreds. Anyway, so it takes 33 days to make the design the part. Um, we'll cancel this project. How long does it take to manufacture a part? So designing is only one part. Like, I can get people to, like, make a prototype and, you know, draw it on paper. But then I actually need to build them and put them on the cars. So how long does manufacturing take? If I were to make two front wings... Uh, emergency, it'll get it done right now, but for a lot of money. If I want to make two front wings, it will make six, to cost six days. So that's 39 days in total. Or 36, if I only want to make one of them for one driver. Okay, so 39 days to make a front wing okay uh let's now go to the tracks the calendar what's in 33 days how do i find out ah here it is available in right so baku will be oh there's a big gap between melbourne and baku here maybe i want to design a part that takes a little longer so it won't be ready for melbourne but it'll we can bring an update to Baku, because there's a gap between Melbourne and Baku. Because China was supposed to be here, right? That's it. Oh, that's weather forecast. Sorry, you're right. Where does it say... There's an upcoming design list on the bottom of the left of the design window. Oh, is there? Am I dumb? Ah! Ah, hi- Ah! Oh, oh, shit, it's in the design menu now! Okay, that's really good. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. So, Melbourne is in 39 days. So, I could design a part for Melbourne and onwards for Baku and that lot. Um, but there's a massive gap here. I feel like just living the first three races and then having a bunch of upgrades for Baku onwards would be good. I still want to look at the circuits. So, what's important in Baku? Baku, low speed is really important, and also low speed cornering, but top speed, like, car. Yeah, so we want something that's good at top speed, but also good at low speed cornering. That's important for Baku. Miami is probably thought similar, right? I don't know, acceleration and high speed is important. Okay. So I need to find, like, a block of tracks that have a similar aspect, and then focus on that one aspect. Uh, yeah, Albert Park wants high speed cornering and top speed. None of these tracks are similar. Imola wants high speed cornering. Monte Carlo is going to be slow speed, is the most important. Barcelona is going to be medium speed. None of these, like, match up, damn it. 
Medium speeds. Okay. Montreal, I was at that one. I was there. I watched that one. I was sat right here. <laughs> oh, I'm almost in the picture. Uh, Australia is... Yeah, high speed. Uh, yeah, damn, it's almost like F1 is hard. Yeah, I know, right? Um, but yeah, this is definitely what I want to do. I want to start designing car parts now before we before we move on to the next part. So, um, Do I want to start with a front wing? Highlight important things for Baku. Baku's all about low speed. And so is Monte Carlo. Imola likes low speed. Miami likes low speed. I think low speed for this section is going to be important. Low speed is good for Barcelona. Low speed is good for Montreal. It's only uh, Spielberg that doesn't want low speed, right? Oh, wait. What, what's highlighting? Is this... What do these ticks mean? Oh, recommended crucial. Yeah, okay. So, Baku really wants... Yeah, yeah, okay. So, so the next few tracks, Monte Carlo and Baku really want low speed. These two are would help would be helped by low speed. I think it's more Baku wants top speed. Um, I think you can, maybe can fire people mid season. I'm not super sure. Are you competing online against Crucial? Oh, it's Crucial playing as well. Um, no, no, there's no online on this game. That would be really cool, though. Multiplayer seasons would be really cool. Hmm. That's hard to know. What would Melbourne like? Melbourne likes low speed as well. But then Miami and Imola want high speed. I'm going to make a low speed focused front wing. Fuck this. Okay, right. Uh, so we're going to design a new wing. Right, let's see. How many? How much time do I want to put into it? Um, so if this takes 30 days, how long is a season? <laughs> 10, 10 times as long, 9 times as long pretty much as that. Um, how many parts am I going to want to be designing though? Probably only like half the season I want to make new parts for. We'd probably stop and like, what, Zandvoort would probably stop. Or Spa. Spa would probably be, yeah, Spa and Budapest would probably be our last update. Maybe earlier than that. Silverstone. Silverstone would be our last update. Um, isn't the Williams driving at low speed all the time anyway? No. Hang on. Oh, I can't do that easily. Whatever, then fuck it. Um. Maybe I should just focus on top speed, right? Because that's what Williams is good at. Top speed and low speed cornering. That's what I want to focus on, I think. Right, anyway, how many hours do I want to use? Um. We are with the next ATR period is in 14 days. Oh, okay. In that case, then, if I'm going to get more of these in 14 days, I might as well use, like, almost all of them, right? Um, if I use half of them on this, and then I can design a rear wing as well. Yeah, okay. So I might as well use like half this as well. Right? So I'll use half of these two things, and then by the time they're done designing this, I'll have more. So let's just do that. Okay, right. Next. We want to focus on the stuff of Baku. Focus preset. Um, we want. Oh, I can't do... I can't do top speed here? Oh, I, 
Is the wing not... I guess the wing isn't important for top speed. Okay. The front wing, anyway. Well, we want low speed to be the focus. Um... Yeah, like that. Yeah, the rear wing would be top speed, I guess. The front wing would be just be... Cornering. Brake cooling? Was brake cooling ever really an issue? Airflow sensitivity will get better. The lifespan is interesting. Um... I feel like manufacturing these is fine. Let's let's skim some weight off, shall we? Let's take a let's take a 500 kilometers off, and we'll gain. Wait, what extra weight? So like the one that's on the Yeah, no, like, yeah, we save yeah, what I mean they get busted up a lot, so you probably replaced before they wear out. That's true anyway, right? Front wings will probably get broken anyway. That's true. I'm gonna put this all the way down. Yeah, fuck it. M flexible most flexible wing possible. Save all the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck it. Okay, we'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, okay. That's the wind tunnel working, you're hearing. Yeah, phase drying I hair. I went to shut the door, but there's a door stop in the way and I can't really move it. Let's do it like that. I think that's fine. Alright, next. We'll get... I, I, I'm going to have two... I'm going to have a front wing and a rear wing being designed at the same time. So I'm going to put five engineers on it. It will be done in 33 days. Um, we'll just do a normal design, and, uh, yeah, it'll be... If anything, I can slow down, like, I don't really need to rush it for Melbourne. So, yeah, take your time, take your time. Oh, the more engineers I put on it, the faster it's done, I see. Oh, okay. But lower expertise gain. No, okay, I just want one engineer then. I don't want this for Melbourne, do I? Well, it still helps Melbourne, actually. Yeah, it still helps in Melbourne. Mm, okay, I'll, I'll put it to five. Okay. I just hope that the rear wing can... Oh, yeah, there's a massive... Yeah, yeah, the, the rear oh, wing needs to be done for Baku. That's Have fine. Have just resubscribed okay. for 63 months. Hi. Hi. Oh, I even. Thanks, Havana M, for 63 months. Hello. You can make four designs at the same time. Right, okay. Um, no, nah, I just want to do front wing and rear wing for now. We'll just do that. Okay, right. So I'm I'm currently designing... Where do I just see my designs? There we go. I'm currently designing a front wing. Okay. Now let's also design... Oh, research. Oh, you can research the next ones. <laughs> yeah, we you know. Um, let's design a rear wing. So this will affect the top speeds. And the top speed is very important for Baku. So we'll use the rest of our wind tunnel all allotment. Uh, yeah. We want to do... Uh, we want to have drag reduction is very important to us. Very important. And the low speed downforce is also important. Yeah, like that. Um... Like that, I would say. Yeah, we want fucking minimum lifespan. Fuck that shit. 
Airflow sensitivity, yeah, that's all fine. So high speed cornering wouldn't be improved, but that's all right. Um, yeah, it's just 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 make the top speed better. DRS is fine. Okay, and we won. Yeah, f yeah, thirty one days. That that would also be done for Melbourne. Okay, sick. So five engineers working on it. Get to it, chaps. Cool. Okay. Cardboard aero. Hell yeah. More numbers, more better. Alright, so we're designing a front wing and a rear wing. We got that sorted out. Um, so our, our our designers are like busy working on the car. Um, here's my warehouse. Oh yeah, the engines. I didn't talk about that. So the engine, the ERS, and the gearbox... These are not made by Williams, I don't believe. We we use the Mercedes engines. Um, so if we need more, we have to just buy them from Mercedes. We can't uh, we can't make any. Um, but there's also no engine development in 2023, so the engines are just static. But you just have like engine wear. The more engines I use, if you use too many engines, you'll get like um you'll get penalties. So you're there's you can only use three engines in a season. You can only use two ERSs, and you can only use four gearboxes. Yeah. So we need to not we need to try not to fuck these parts up too much. Yeah, powertrain. So they all have all of their allotments so far. Okay. Um Yeah. And they all have that part. Okay, right. And we have... We have four spare front and rear wings. We have a bunch of spares of everything. Okay. Can you sneak an engine while no one's looking? No. Okay, that's cars. Let's do the drivers. So, yeah, there's driver performance stuff now, right? Oh, he's with James Irwin. <laughs> yeah, that's, so they have... They have... Uh... Yeah, so... This is another stat. Is like the driver's relationship with their radio engineer. Or they're regular, or they're just race engineer. The guy who talks on the radio and then also helps them with engineering things. Uh, if they're good friends with them, that helps as well. So they are currently good friends. Are the gearboxes for the team or per, per vehicle, not per team, per, per vehicle? Um, what do we want Alex Albin to focus on? Um. Maybe what's Williams' strength? They don't they sometimes qualify well, don't they? Albin's already good at qualifying. Um Albin is good at long stints, yeah. Sprint races are in this, yes. They are in this. Quality well and DRS trained into oblivion. True. Maybe we just want to focus on short pace, right? Like qualifying. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we'll, we'll do. We'll do qualifying. Focus on that. Here's his bonuses. Ah, his contract. Okay, so he's signed for three years. Um, we've got two years left with Alban. It takes home three million. Um, if he gets tenth or higher, we have to pay him twenty k, because that's his like bonus, his race bonus. Um, and it'll cost us three million if we want to fire him early. His morale is very high. That's good. Ah, oh, look, you can see his his history. Ah, uh, where's the F two history? Um, yeah. Oh yeah, Alpha Tori doesn't, uh, the flag is like, it doesn't have, uh, Toro Rosso, does it? But he was at Red Bull a little bit. Yeah, this is recent history. Can I see his whole history? No, that's sad. Only the last five years. Okay. Alright, uh, what about Logan? What do we want Logan to do? Oh, he doesn't have very good affinity. Latest paired race engine is Matthew Ogle. Maybe we we want a high Matthew Ogle. Might be a might be a good move for Sergeant. 
And Sergeant isn't that great. Sergeant's 73 points. Um, Sergeant, you just need to kind of... You just need to get faster. Like, in all respects, I guess. Yeah, just balanced. I don't know, man. We only have Sergeant for this year. Okay, we can get rid of Sergeant at the end of the year. Good to know, good to know, good to know. We fire Sergeant at the end. Only costs half a mil to, to fire him right now. I'm just saying. Um, well, the rest of our staff. So, it's not just the drivers who are important. we got loads of different staff as well. So, we got the technical chief. So, the head of all technical car development for your team is uh, David Warner. You can't... Oh, my camera's in the way. Sorry. Whoop. Oh, my God. That's a, that's a picture. Uh, yeah. Aero principles, bodywork, grip and traction, ground effect, downstream airflow structure. What do we... I guess just balanced? Like, that's kind of... It's really specific to pick here. Yeah. And we got head of aerodynamics. Right. That's all of the stats he has. Morale is okay. <laughs> what? David Warner's morale is low? Why is his morale low? So they're not likely to uh, renew their contract in a couple years. Interesting. Yeah, he's he's looking to leave. Oof, how old is he? Oh, he's 60. Yeah, okay, well, he probably wants out, right? So we'd probably... Uh, we'd probably... Bump Adam Keaton, Keaton up. Um, the other guys are alright. They're doing okay. Just win the world championship and they'll stay. Uh. Our sporting director is really good. Responsible for pit stop performance. Yeah, that's true. Williams' pit stops are good. Uh, here's the so we can like develop the pit crew. Oh, uh, we can make a schedule. The pit crew are a vital part of our team. This is new. Their reliability and speed can make a big difference to a race outcome. When they're back at HQ in between races, the pit crew can train to improve in different areas. Okay. The pit crew development plan will focus on a balanced training approach, but you can give them further instruction and focus on a specific area. The pit crew are always so busy training. You can access the team's training schedule through the calendar, and from there customize the current plan right down to a daily breakdown. Just bear in mind that as the pit crew's job, and therefore training, is very physical, they can become fatigued, and as a result, more prone to making mistakes. Yeah. Remember, the constructor with the highest number of fastest pit stops will win the DHL fastest, fastest pit, pit stop, stop awards at the end of the year. Uh, I want to win that fastest pit Once stop award, dude. With the pit crew training schedule. Yeah, okay. All right. So yeah, you can um uh, okay, so so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the team is doing pit stop drills. So car releases and new tires on, used tires off, wheel guns, jacks. They'll practice. Then on Thursday, they got gym training in the morning and the afternoon. On Fridays, they do gym training and then car building. And on Saturday, they focus on car building. Yeah, because they also need to actually work on the car, right? Sundays, they have off. And then these two days, they have off. That's their schedule. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, so they're kind of fatigued at the moment. Or no, they're well rested. Oh, I see. They're up. We're up. We're up here, or here, or something. Or is that where they're going to be after the schedule? So if they get tired, they're more likely to make a mistake, right? We have a fourteen point five nine percent chance of making a mistake. Pit stops are going to be two point six seconds. Okay, all right. Interesting. So I could try to work on reducing pit stop errors. So they'll practice pit stops more and car building less. We can get them to focus on getting the pit stop time down. So they'll just be like buff as fuck. And then do some pit stop drills. 
Are we getting to focus on car building? So, if we need to change parts in the garage, it'll be faster. It doesn't seem that interesting. Or we could just tell them to fucking chill out. <laughs> Why is this well rested 7% now? Oh, because it. Oh, okay. So we are at. Right. We aren't rested at all. Or. I don't quite understand. Gym seven days a week for a month to get in shape, yeah. Yeah, I can just set custom ones. Interesting. Okay. That's really in depth. <laughs> I can get them to focus on different parts of the car pit stop. Yeah, okay. Surely changing parts is faster than loss chasing. Is there a point? Well, then, like, practice and stuff if you wanted to, like, test the different parts. Yeah, I, I would say part testing does not... Part car building does not seem that important. I am going to change this to gym training. I think. Um, I would say that that's not that important. Get into rest. Um... Go for DHL buffest pit crew award, yeah. Yeah, I really don't think car building is very important at all. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, fuck car building. Josh's pit crew is gonna be like the buff doge meme, yeah. Okay, we'll do that then. Okay. That's your new schedule. Fuck car building. We don't need to change parts all that fast, it's fine. Um hmm. <clears throat> and yeah, the pit crew, yeah, they each get 50k. I mean, yeah, they have to you have to travel to every single race. So you have to travel across the world constantly. Like, all the time. You'd never get to, like, rest to see family and stuff, so it makes sense. Oh, you can compare our pit stops against other people? Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay. Um, engineering team? I can focus on them. Um, this has been an effect affected by a recent decision made in an email exchange. So they're on a reduced strategy at the moment. Interesting, okay. That's what the engineers are up to. Whoops. The scouting team. Change team size. I can't have... Alright, okay, so I need to make my headquarters better if I want more of these. Okay, well, we'll leave the, we'll leave the main st team staff alone for now. Like, Yeah, it looks like... It looks like David Warner is going to leave in two years. So we'll have to bump a bunch of people up. Right, time for scouting. So, oh look, it looks out the window, the, the room, that's cool. So scouting is, um, scouting is, like, you need to look for staff members and stuff. So you need, you have a bunch of people that just go out and find, like, people to be staff. Uh, so you can scout for drivers. So here's a bunch of, like, F2 and F3 and F1 drivers. Um... So let's find some F3, oh there's a free agents, interesting. They're just fake people by the looks of it. Um, yeah, so here's a bunch of F3 drivers. These are real ones, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's Sophia, Sophia Flirch. She's doing alright in F3 at the moment, I think. Um, didn't she, she's like the first woman to ever get points in F3 or something? Right, recently? So that's cool. Um, but yeah, these guys... You see, they, they can't race in F1, it says, here. That's because, yeah, they don't have enough, um, they need to be over 18 and have, comp oh, okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't simulate points, okay. It doesn't simulate super licenses, so it works different in this game to the way it works in real life, but yeah, okay, so. These guys could join, even though they don't have enough super license points. She already did that once, but got disqualified. Now she did it again. Nice. So yeah, I could um I could scout Lewis Hamilton, for example. 
or Max Verstappen. But uh, he probably ain't going to join Williams anytime soon. <laughs> so I feel like... Um, I feel like my best bet would be to scout a bunch of uh, F2 drivers. So let's do... Let's do F2... Um, with... Uh, not yet scouted... Um, uh, with young'uns would be good. Yeah, apply and return. Vettel isn't available, no. Right, okay, so here's all the F2 drivers that I haven't scouted yet. Now let's order them by rating. Yeah, Theo Porcher would be good. Richard for sure. Yeah, okay. Daruvala, yeah. Bouchong. Oh, Zane Maloney can't actually race in F1 right now. Huh. Has he not done a season? Doing... See, I sort of watch F2 occasionally, so I sort of know some of these people. I didn't watch F3 and F2 at the last season, the last race, actually. I guess I could do that. Fittipaldi, Vesti, Hajar, Masani, Behrman. I can get Leclerc. This is, this is, um, Charles Leclerc's younger brother. <laughs> Crawford, Stanek, Korea. Brad Benevines. <laughs> Some of these people I don't know. Is Correa the guy that's been in F2 for a billion years? Who Who's the guy that's been in F2 for ages? Is it It's Roy Nassani, isn't it? Nassani is the one that's been in F2 since, like, forever. <laughs> yeah, so what I'll do is I'll scout them and I'll get, like, more information on them. Um, Porche's only 19. Yeah, so the younger you are, the realistically, the more uh, potential you have to grow. So let's scout, let's scout Porcher. Um, reveals candidates' performance ratings and the development rate and aggression of the drivers. Detailed gives current morale, salary, cash bonuses in the contract. How long have they contracted their buyout? Now we'll just do a standard scout. So we'll scout Porcher. It'll take 10 days. So they'll just like do research on him basically. Um, yeah, I don't know about his performance stuff. Ah, oh, look at his look at his little F2, F3 season. Huh. So he's been in F2 for two years. This is his third season in F2. Um, let's do Maloney as well. So Maloney, Maloney's about to start his second season in F2. Or his first, oh, this is going to be his first season in F2. You'd bank on Behrman? Really? Be Oliver Behrman? Oh, he's, shit, he's 17. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, okay. We'll do. We'll we'll go down the list. We'll do Maloney. Um, we'll uh, we'll do some standard stouty on him. Okay, but yeah, we should focus on the F two drivers for now. Okay. So Porche was in F three at fourteen years old. No, no, no. He had like multiple teams in one season. Vipok. So it's like this is 2020, 2022, 20 Yeah. He's nineteen, so he would have been in F two. It's, we're, we're in 23, so that's, you would have been 16, right? In 2020. I wish I could see them more of their... I wish I could see more of their history. I want to see their whole history, right? Right, okay, that's the scouting. We'll scout drivers, but we should add, definitely start scouting uh, technical chiefs. Because uh, we're going to need some of those if that guy's going to leave eventually. But I only have two scouts, so I'm using both of them. Williams doesn't have very good scouting stuff. Scout Bonotto. Shit, yeah, I should do. Okay, so now we're into the facility. We're almost at the race. We're almost there. But this is the facility, so this is all about the, the Williams headquarters. Ah, uh, like, there it is. Is that the actual Williams headquarters? Or is that just a random building, I wonder? Um, so here's, like, parts of our facility. Wow, our wind tunnel... Oh god, our, our facilities are trash, Jesus. Um, 
Star facility is trash. Yeah, we have a really... We don't have a helipad. <sighs> Imagine not having a helipad. Yeah, you want helipad because it provides a luxury helicopter landing space to offer a first class experience for your most important guests. This is really important for... For getting sponsors. <laughs> it sounds really dumb, but you want... You want to have like a helipad and shit so you can get like the head of the company to come visit you and stuff it was literally there on the drone shot lamo was it i guess it doesn't actually like show it right our tour center is pretty good that makes us a bunch of money um let's do let's do car development facility so if we have a bigger factory we can make more parts and make them faster if we have a better design center... Oh, yeah, there's the helipad. Yeah, look. If we have a design center... Our... Uh, yeah, capacity for engineering and stuff all goes up. We also need to refurbish stuff every now and then. So if we upgrade it... We can still only have four projects and ten engineers. But we can have... All of our stuff gets better. It'll cost 11 million to upgrade our factory, though. Or design center, sorry. Jesus. That's pretty expensive. A better wind tunnel will cost 10 million, but our car will just get better. If I can do our computer simulators for 10 million as well. Suspension simulators. Car part test centers. I wonder what we should focus on. Um, let me go standings real quick. Can I compare my team to the other teams or something? Wasn't there a way to compare your team about how how good your facilities were versus other people's? Am I imagining that? Maybe that wasn't a thing. Team rating. Here it is. Um, no. Maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering this. Was that motorsport manager I'm remembering? Only car? Oh, you can like compare your... Yeah, you can compare your car against the grid average. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 that's right. So if we compare our car to, say, Red Bulls. Um, Red Bull is faster in every single respect. <laughs> there was a ranking at the very beginning when you started. You say, ah, oh, right, okay. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Oh my god, Red Bull's car is so much better. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Uh, okay, whatever, fuck it. We'll, uh... We'll make a helipad. I want a helipad. We're gonna build a helipad. It's a cheap upgrade. We'll just do that. Okay, right. That's the facility upgrades. Um... I don't think I can build... Can you build more than one thing at once? Oh, you can. Interesting. Uh, how much money do I have? Uh, it should go up. We make money per race, but maybe I don't want to spend it all right now. Because our current balance is 16 million. If I upgrade one of our fucking... If I upgrade, like, the wind tunnel, that's 10 million. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Um, yeah, so here's the board. So this is like the, the head of the company or whatever. Um, here's the board confidence. So this is like your game over statistics, right? So if you do bad in this, you'll, uh, you'll get fired. But, you know, our season objective is eight for above. Long-term objectives. Um, we want to be a points contender by 2025. And if I don't, if I don't do the job, I'm going to get fired. Uh, there's the budget. 52 million a year is how much they're giving me. Okay. I get four, four, 420 a month. Way. Uh, team rating. Yeah. 391 over 750. What? Your construction. Right. Okay. 
Our drivers are trash. I don't have any points. Our heritage. We have a big heritage score, I bet. Yeah. Because we have a... Because Williams has a big heritage. Our score, our team rating is okay. Profile. Oh, this is my... Uh, this is my profile. This is all the stuff I've achieved. Yeah, okay. And my season history and stuff. Cool. And now, here are the rules and regulations of F1. Oh, baby. Let's look at the sporting rules. So, pole position does not get a bonus point. Fastest lap does get a bonus point. We can see, like, the rules for the next year and stuff. Double points for last race. That would be a good meme. Here's the point allocation. None of this is changing, I don't think, next year. Testing limits. Wind, test wind limits. Wind tunnel limits. Yeah, so we have 92 hours because we were last. Gearbox limits. Okay. This this is still worse than Motorsport Manager. Motorsport Manager, you could have some really fucking wacky rules. But here, like, the wackiest rule you could have would be double points for the last race. Um, Yeah, you can't really get, like, crazy stuff. But in Motorsport Manager, you could have stuff like... Oh... We'll have sprinklers on the racetrack, so like half, so there'll be a ten percent chance we turn a sprinklers on and make it a wet race out of nowhere, right? And shit like that, or like reverse grids, or all that crazy stuff, or like no car development is allowed for next season and crap like that. Most sport manager was wackier in that respect, but I guess F1 manager tries to be a bit more grounded in reality or sprint races, yeah. Uh, and then here's our finances. So, yeah, I looked at this a minute ago. So our monthly balance is we're currently making a profit of 5 million a month. We ain't ever... We ain't gonna get near the cost cap. We should be good. And yeah, here's our sponsorship money. Okay. And here's the standings. No one has any points. No one has the fastest pit stop. Um, we haven't had any results in the Grand Prix. Okay, right. Let's go to the race, shall we? So I've done everything I can do prior to starting the race. Uh, let's press the continue button. So this will just advance me through time until something happens. Oh, the helipad got built. Sick. Okay. We have a helipad now. Wonderful. Hooray. That didn't take long. Why did we not have that? Can I upgrade it? <laughs> to get more money? Yeah. Let's upgrade the fucking more helipad. Okay. Let's just start making more money more fast. Uh, important. I got an important email. Okay, so we got some emails. Good morning, Josh. Allow me to introduce talented key staff. Um, uh, yes. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, we looked for all this. How do you upgrade a helipad? I don't fucking know, man. Sponsor obligations. As you just joined the team, I wanted to... Sorry, sponsor obligations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we, we I already looked at this. It was, it was here already. Uh, with the sound of screeching tires, the time has come to a brand new season of Formula One copyright. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay, what's this? Uh, oh, yeah. It's just him emailing me that the helipad was done. Oh, the upkeep goes up. Ooh. Okay. Visit the helipad. Yay, there's the helipad. Okay, continue. Uh, so our scouting was complete. Um, yep, and the race is coming up. Josh, will you hire Bottas just so you can do Valtteri as James again? Oh shit, that would be good. Uh, post Bahrain testing results. Gordon and Josh, with Bahrain testing behind us, we now know where our car stands versus the other teams. I've attached a report below detailing our car's performance, which uses the Vegas Garda part. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. So our car's shit, basically. <laughs> um, whoops. So we, we already knew that. I, I already knew the car's bad. We have, like, a really shit car. That's fine. Um, I've report on how our drivers have been developing during the past month. Yeah, okay. So no one really... No one really improved at all. Okay, great. How were you 13th in some criteria of 10 cars? Wait, what was that? Where did you see that? I don't know where you saw that. <laughs> I don't know where our ranking is. 
in the message. Am I blind? <laughs> oh, 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 I see, right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we have two cars, right? So our top speed- yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh, this is what I wanted. Okay, yeah, so our top speed is, like, middling. Our acceleration is trash. Yeah, we don't have the worst car. Okay, so we have a pretty middling car, if anything. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because there's, there's 20 cars, right, I guess. That is kind of weird. Why is it like that? Which car are they talking about? I don't know. Anyway. Training schedule. Uh, pit crew training. Oh boy, I get to do the months schedule? Oh shit. Okay. Um, car number one, it says. Okay, alright. My bad. Uh, yeah, so we definitely want to... We don't really want to rest before the race. And then pit stop drills, rest, fuck car building, gym training. No car building. Never car building. Only gym. Our car building is getting worse, whatever, that's fine. We'll do some some car building, there you go. Okay, that's the new schedule. There's your schedule, chaps. Hop to it. Swole is the goal. Everyday leg gay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'll get any emails. Yeah, no. Continue. Ah, oh, scouting complete. So we scouted Zane Maloney. Um, let's have a look. So, uh, he's very aggressive. Um, he must have pretty high... Oh, Barbados, right? Yeah, of course. He must have pretty high, like, potential, right? Development rate high. Yeah, okay, so Zane Maloney is getting a good, really, a lot a better. He's getting better, faster. He's not very good now, though. But maybe at the end of the F2 season he'll be good. Who else did we scout? Who was the other one? Poor Chair. Yeah, Poor Chair's getting better. Oh, wow, Porcher is damn. 75, yeah, okay, he's pretty good. His overtaking is terrible. Everything else is, like, really good. I know he can't race in F1, but by the end of the season, it will be able to, Remo. Okay. Uh, let's scout... Um... Yeah, let's do Bearman, like Omega said. Um, and let's do... Not Jack Crawford. Let's do Dennis Hauger. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, because I want I want Alex Albon to be like my main driver or whatever, and then we want to get rid of Logan Sargent and have a new driver who can get better, who's actually good. Okay. All right. It's race weekend. The race of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Be sure you complete the blow. Check the circuit info. Check the sponsor targets. Check the people. Yeah. Okay. So we go to the race preparation. Ugh. So, it's raw keek. So, performance targets. We need to set performance targets. So, these are like targets we set to promise our sponsors stuff will get more money. So, uh, we got reach round free of qualifying. Yeah, so the, quali so the sponsors want us to get to Q3. If we reach Q3, we'll get $150,000, pretty much. I don't know what's happening. Um, guarantees? So what are guarantees? Sorry, guarantee is an optional performance target that you can set yourself. Sponsors will reward you for achieving that target, but they'll reduce their contribution if you don't hit your own guarantee. Um, I feel like we could reach Q2. I can't change this. This is locked in. But I could also, I could say, well, if we get to Q2, will you give us some money instead? So I'm going to do that. I feel like Q2 is reasonable that one of our drivers will get to Q2, right? That seems reasonable. And at the same time, one of our drivers will get 15th or better. Because then that also is Q2. So I'm going to do those to get some more money. But we might lose if we don't manage it. Uh, race target. 
Uh, we're not gonna have the fastest lap. No, 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 that's fine. And hot streaks. So, if I get 15th, three races in a row, I'll get half a million. Okay. And if I finish 15th, three races in a row, I'll get a lot as well. Might want to lower that one a little. Oh, I can't go any lower than that. Sure. I'm going to leave that. That seems risky. These two seem okay, though. I could do that. Okay, so performance targets. Now the driver overview. Yep. That's... Yep, that, those are our drivers. And uh, car builds. Yeah, we can't. We don't have any new parts or anything, so that's fine. Okay. To the race weekend. Let's play the actual game. <laughs> Just pit on last lap for fastest lap. You're going to be we P20 go, folks. anyway. Here we go, F1 returns. Starting here in Bahrain. As we Two gameplay. The season, the slate is wiped clean. And all 20 drivers prepare to make an instant impact ahead of an exciting year. Bahrain is known for high tyre degradation, as the asphalt here is so abrasive. The drivers are facing many low to medium speed corners, and any heavy braking will inevitably take its toll on the tyres. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. There's now a rookie on the McLaren team, which is both an opportunity and a challenge. What will happen this weekend? Only time will tell. Was all that not gameplay? Well, I mean, you know, the actual race or whatever. Yeah. All right. So here's the race weekend. We got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So on Friday, there are two practice sessions. Practice one and practice two. We're going to use practice to let our drivers like get good at driving the track and to test our car and stuff. Then on Saturday, we have another practice session, and then we have the free qualifying sessions. And qualifying will determine our position at the start for the race on Sunday. So, uh, yes, continue. So, practice preparation. Um, let's send them out on stuff. So, here's Alban. He's not acclimatized to the track at all. He's, gonna, he's not familiar with the car parts. And we need to do his setup. So we want him. We want to use the hard tires because the we're probably just going to use hard tires all practice, right? Do you have um? Expect the strategies. Yeah, with mediums and softs. So we need to make sure we save enough tires for the actual race. So we're likely to use a medium, a soft, and a soft in the race. There might be a safety car, which puts a bit of a spanner in that works, but that's the main thing. So we want to use our hards for practice. Because we only you only have a certain number of tires for the weekend. I really don't know where, where to put my camera at any point. Oops, don't do that. No, wait, do do that. Wait, what? What am I doing? <laughs> I'm confused. That's what I'm doing. There we go. Um... I do have eight pairs of softs, yeah. I will fucking churn through them, though. Um, but I, I want the softs for qualifying, is the thing. Um, and I need the mediums for the race. I can use... I'll use hards for the first thing. But I'll, I'll use I'll use mediums on the Saturday, maybe. And it's not going to rain, so we don't use that. So we can use hard tyres. Now, car parts. We only have all... The, the one spec car part, so we don't have any new ones to test. Car setup. Right, okay. So, this is where we change the setup on the car. So we can change the angle of the wings for, like, more... Oh, hello there, little spider. What are you doing? Why are you suddenly climbing me? Please stop walking towards me. H hello. <laughs> hello, do you want to come on my notepad? Ow, I'm stepping on my headset. Stop stepping on my headset. Friends! Friends, friends, please come on my notepad. Thank you. Don't, don't, don't fall off the notepads. St stay on the notepads. Thank you. Now out the window. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay. <laughs> just a, a little, little spider just climbing on my arm as I'm sat at my desk. Very cool. Very cool. Um. Hopefully, it doesn't just waltz on back in. 
Uh, yeah, anyway, so we can change the angle of the front wings. This will change, like, um, how much traction we have, how much braking stability, um, but also, like, you know, more front wing angle means you're slower down the straights, but you're faster around the corners. Um, this is a fairly high-speed track, if I remember right. So we probably want a fairly low front wing angle, I would say. And a f maybe not that extreme, but a fairly low rear wing angle. Um, but all of this stuff is just guesswork. We need to send the drivers out. They'll drive around a little bit, come back in, and then we'll see what they say and what what they want to change on the setup. And then we can try to find like the ideal. We need like driver feedback on this. So we'll leave it on that. Uh, the run plan uh, for the first practice. How many laps are there? I don't know how long this lasts. We'll do uh, we'll do 15 laps. That seems fine. Uh, and the driving options, uh, just leave them on standard. It's fine. Whatever. Okay. We'll do the same for Sergeant. The car setup will probably, I'm going to guess, once lower. Um, 15 laps, driver options. Okay, everyone's ready. Now, we... I think I'm going to... Normally, I would just simulate practice. Um, well, in the past, I simulated practice because I wasn't fast-forwarding or pausing, right? Um... This time, I think I will actually do this practice, just so I can see what the game's like again, and actually learn all the controls and shit. Um, but since I'm fast-forwarding anyway, I might actually just do all of the practice sessions. So let's actually go to practice. Alright, we're in practice. Uh, let's send Albany out. Here he goes. Okay, bye Alban. Alright. Um, and then let's also send Sergeant out after a little bit. Could you check? Yeah, loud and clear. Can you hear me okay? Ah, oh, we're not gonna get funny Norris radio messages anymore. Um, okay, so we definitely... The camera position is a big problem. I may want to make, like, a custom layout for this. Um... Yeah, radio check. I'll, I'll be up here for now, I suppose. Yeah, no, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find some funny voice lines still. Okay. Um, so what are the buttons again? So we got... We can mouse over this that brings up practice goals. Okay. Oh, God, I don't remember how any of this works. I can call the car in. This is all about the tyres... Powertrain, the aerodynamics. Oh, this is like this is like damage on the car. Okay. Right, and if I click these, if I, can I? Oh, that's better. Right. Okay. Okay. I remember now. Right. So if I click this, I get more information. So this is this is pace. So if I click this, I can. Choose how aggressively he drives. The more aggressive, the more tires he'll use, but the faster he'll go. Put cam in the middle, yeah. Middle, bottom, maybe. That's not a terrible idea. Um, it's not as simple as just moving it, though. We'll have to make a thing for that, but I'll, I'll do that later. Uh, fuel is like, yeah, if he uses more fuel, use more, obviously. And then ERS, that's like how much battery he's using. Okay. Why does this not work now? Oh, it does now. Okay, so I can get a little preview of it. Last year's layout was great with the memes on the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's right. Maybe I should do that again. I think I deleted that scene, actually. Oh, no, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I have this still. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll maybe fiddle with that later. It's still in 1080p instead of... 1440, so I need to fix it. Maybe I'll do that again. Um, so what's this? Tactics. So I can get them to avoid high-risk curbs in case the car's getting broken. 
drive in clean air so they try to avoid, like, um, drive behind people and then don't fight teammate. Timings, telemetry. Yeah, okay. Oh shit, Albin's purpling! Oh my god! Uh, I can call the car in. And then this is all this stuff here. Yeah, I can check the... Check the tires and stuff, right? Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm sort of remembering. And then down here are the forbidden buttons, which I didn't use last time. So I've got pausing. And we've got fast forwarding. So, you can go to 2x with this view. But then if you go above that, we get this view. So we can just simulate, like, really fast. On the track map. Look at this! We're simulating! So, uh, Alban is currently three seconds behind Verstappen, but that's fine. Who knows what tires Verstappen's are on. Uh, Verstappen... Verstappen's doing soft tire runs. So, we're, we're out here chilling on the hards. So, we're not going to worry about how much slower we are yet. Oh, yeah, this screen as well. Track details, grip, normal, water and all that. Car condition. Here's their, f that's their fuel, I'm pretty sure. Yep, so they're getting more acclimatized and stuff. Prediction. Track acclimatization will go up to here. Car park knowledge there. Time on track. Yeah, okay. So we've got data view, strategy view, race view, right? And uh, settings, I guess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, let's go to this view. So what camera angles do we have? Do we have more this year? So we got this one. Oh, I can close these, right? Can't I? I thought I could close these things on the side. I guess I can't. I seem to remember being able to do that. Maybe I'm wrong. We got rear wing. We're holding up a an Alpine by looks of it. This view. Front wing. Oh. Oh, cool. I mean, it's not super realistic. They'd probably look at the corner a bit earlier than that, but... But this is like visor view, yeah, like visor cam. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. They, they've attempted to make it work. But it's probably like, it just looks where they're turning, right? <laughs> Oh god, yeah, that fucking- oh my, that head movement. Oh my. Yeah, okay, this doesn't seem... It just turns- it's like how much they're turning their wheel, isn't it? Yeah, an attempt was made, yeah. Okay, well, I feel like this is fine. Based on wheel turn, yeah. Alright, but anyway, let's fast forward through the practice session. Um, what's this? Heading to garage, okay. Another car has spun. Oh shit. Do I get replays? We've got a yellow <gasps> flag here. We get replays! Hamilton span on turn 11. Oh! Oh, we get radio messages now. Oh, okay, that's an improvement. So last time, last time Crofty would be like, Oh, another driver spun, oh my god! And would always say like the same cr cringy voice lines. But now it, now he, Crofty was like, Oh, we've got a replay here, which was a bit chiller, you know? And then, and then the, the radio message is from the driver instead of just crofting it being like, Oh, this team's gonna have a that! You know. So that's better. That, that might... That's my cost of the race! Yeah, stuff like that. So hopefully that's improved. Okay, so Albin's back in the pits. Now we can sort his uh, stuff out. So... Um, does that pause? Ooh. Maybe, I don't know, whatever. Right, so he used a bunch of his hard tire. That's fine. We can keep him on that for a minute. Um, car parts we're not replace that. Right, opt to this. So he says, 
So this is where he wants the braking stability to be. This is where he wants the traction to be. The cornering, the straights, and the oversteer are fine. But we need to make the braking stability and traction better. So we want to lower the braking stability. Um... What do these arrows mean? Why do some go right, some go left? What? Oh, to make braking stability better, I move this to the right. Is that what it means? So if this was the opposite... Yeah, if I move... Ah, okay, that's pretty useful. Okay, yeah, 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 that seems useful. So if I move this right, this gets worse. It, it's pointing at the direction it gets better if you move it. Okay, right. Interesting. Um, let's see. So we want braking stability and traction to be better. So he might actually want more wing angle, I guess. Um, well, no, right? Because the oversteer and the cornering was fine. I think I I used to I used to be really good at this, and I could know exactly what to change for what thing. But I can't quite remember now. Anti roll bar. Makes fairly large changes in that. But then the traction's also going the right way. Yeah, okay. So we probably want this down here. That makes tiny changes. Okay. This is, like, really difficult to get the braking stability over there. Jesus. This seems like a very wacky setup. So the traction and the braking stability are where he wants them now, but now the oversteer and the corning and the straights are, like, totally fucked up. So maybe bring the front wing angle back a bit. Is this harder now? Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. But will that need to be changed when you put on soft compounds? No, the, the car setup is the same for different tires, which isn't totally realistic, but is how that works. We'll try there. The braking stability, I really don't want to move this much more than that. Yeah, this seems very wacky. Yeah, uh, the blue area, so the blue area is the driver's recommendation. And as they drive, the area will get smaller because they'll be more and more certain of where they want it to be. Um, but, like, this is, like, tr actual where it is. So, this here was where it was. That was good, apparently. This was bad. That was good. They can say, like, perfect and stuff like that. Um, but this blue area is what the driver thinks it should be. And it will get smaller the more they drive. So re it, it can only be in the blue area. But the blue area might get smaller like in the middle. Or it might get smaller on one side or the other side. Right. Um, yeah. So I need to I need to remember how this works. So. It seems like such massive changes like this are crazy to me. So it probably wants more front wing angle. Then bring the rear wing back a bit. Then move this down here. The traction goes all the way over there. But now the cornering is like totally out of whack. I can only ever get the cornering more out of whack. So we need to bring the cornering back this way. Yeah. Yeah, the cornering is just totally never over there, never where I want it to be. Ah, oh, it's rear wing angle we want to be changing. Okay, here we go. This moves the dials, except straights, in the direction I want. 
Then we can increase this, which will bring the straights back down a bit. Right, okay. Okay, I'm starting to remember. So the rear wing is the thing that changes the straights the most. So I can't go too crazy on the rear wing, because then we're, like, way out of here. And the rear wing only changes straights a little bit. Right? But... Uh, sorry, the front wing only changes straights a little bit, and these three things don't change straight performance at all. So I want to get the rear wing angle... Within, still within this straights bar, but if I move this down, all the other sliders move the way I want them to move. So we'll put this up here. So less rear wing, more front wing is what I'm getting from this. Then we can bring the traction back with this. The oversteer has gone a bit crazy, so we need to bring the front wing down. The tire camber we can move back to try to get this over to here. And then this we can move, but now the cornering is getting worse. So we can bring the rear, the rear wing back. There we go. Now they're all within the, the things a bit. Yeah, so less wing angle. Straights are going a bit too fast. But that seems good, so we'll do that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Jesus, that took forever. Okay. <laughs> Alright, then Sergeant comes into the pit. Okay. Alright. I gotta remember how this works. I gotta get used to this again. Um, yes, Hazeray, there are, like, driver feedback is a statistic. So the better at feedback they are, the better they are at this size array. R right, so Sergeant didn't learn anything about the cornering somehow? What the fuck? Okay, Sergeant. So Sergeant's terrible at feedback, apparently. The traction was good, the straights... Okay, so he wants way less rear wing. And way less front wing. He had his eyes closed. Yeah, apparently. I guess he needs more laps, yeah. So, okay, so we want the straights way over there. Yeah, I should do 20 laps, not 10. Yeah, okay. Uh, but now the oversteer is like... This is totally nuts now. Maybe that's too much. He wants way more oversteer, though. What is this setup he wants? Oh my word. Okay, so Sergeant wants a really oversteery setup. Oh, hey, thanks. Alex Krez just subscribed. Okay, we'll leave it there. We'll see what he thinks about that. Thanks, Alex Krez, for the sub. Hello. Um. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to make it 20 laps. Okay, never mind. Alright, well, uh, I need to go grab some food real quick. So let's, uh, let's get... Let's get Alban out. So, they, see, this is where, like, part building would be important for my pit crew, right? Because this is taking forever to reconfigure parts. We're losing, like, a lot of running time. Okay. So we'll send Alban out. Oh, I should have... Should have added more fuel. That was silly. Yeah, mum. Was there another spin out? Oh, I missed it. Uh, right, run plan. We'll give Sergeant more laps. He needs more time in the car. And that won't take that much time to put more fuel in the car. Okay. And then we send him out. Okay. And I'll, uh, I'll leave you watching this a sec. I need to go grab a snack or something because I'm a little bit peckish before I do the race. One sec.
Oh, oh wait, hello. Oh. Forcing us to watch Sergeant should be a good toss. Yeah. Right. I'm just gonna eat this food real quick and then I'll uh, get to the race. Hup. There's been a crash. Now here we are at the final corner. Pushing a bit too hard at this point. And there the cars make contact. And having seen it back, oh, damn. I think it's pretty obvious who was at fault. Huh. Oh. <laughs> He did say two sex, didn't he? He said two sex, Ted. Or, 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 well, that's why he's quoting, obviously. That was funny. Yeah, okay. Feedback on limitation. Balance is pretty good. Come with that. Yay, balance is pretty good. And car balance feedback when capacity. I know there's a lot more potential. Copy. Right, thanks, Logan. That's helpful. <laughs> oh, can you, Alex? Okay, interesting. Well, there's only four minutes left, so I don't think I'd bother <laughs> redoing Alex's car and sending him back out, but... Oh, wow! What the fuck? Holy shit, I nailed Alex's stuff, look. Oh my god. Great, 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 good, great. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, sick. I got Alex's thing perfect. This is only practice one. I guess I can just uh, simulate practice two and three. But yeah, I guess since I know what I'm doing, since I played the last one, I'm going pretty well. Cool. Okay. First app and fastest by fucking half a second. Who would have guessed it? Whoa. Piastri got a penalty. Jesus. What a naughty boy. Whenever you manage practice yourself, use the time to experiment with the balance of the car. And make sure you give the drivers long enough on track to feed back on their car setup. Okay, Sergeant was reasonably happy. Okay, practice two. I'll just do this quick, I guess. Um, well, uh, what do I even change here, right? Like, it would kind of have to be a massive change no matter what I did. Yeah. Um, 
I never remembered how I could get this to 100% before. I could move that there and then try to bring everything else back. Oh, like that? Actually, that works pretty well. Yeah, we'll try like that. Okay. And then they can do 20 laps. Yeah, go for it. Okay. What about Sergeant? Straights is bad. Okay, we got we are way too much. Way too much straight. So he probably wants that. His traction was optimal though. I got that perfect. Okay. Good to know. Uh anti rollbar distribution. Oh man, that's huge differences. That seems wrong, putting that all the way to zero. Oh man. This is such a wacky setup. Uh. The braking stability is just totally wrong, and I can't really get it. <laughs> we'll, we'll try that, but that seems really bad. <laughs> okay. Grand Prix 2, manage. Yes, go. That's great. Hello, Mayo. A lot of car racing that's intense, yeah. How many laps are they done? Okay, maybe I should just simulate practice. This takes way too long, even at 16x. Actually, balance is good. Right, so call him in when that does that. Hooray, quite happy. Sergeant's happy. Okay. Okay, okay, so I made Albans worse. Yeah. I went the wrong way on traction. So if we revert to this. He actually wants it that way. So like
Like that? That seems good. That seems much better. Do that. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, 19 laps, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Just gonna eat these crisps real quick as well. Sorry, these are loud. I didn't forget, Sergeant. <laughs> he was just not telling me anything about his cornering at all. I just don't know how he wants the cornering. Like what? Okay, we can try 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 that. That's really difficult. Hmm. Um It's because I got used to eating lunch, D Frag. I need to slowly get used to not eating lunch. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. It's three PM. I need to leave relatively soon as well, so I can't fuck about with this too long. Uh Oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. He likes his brake stability where it is, is the problem. I guess like that. We'll see if that's any better. I doubt it. Have a look at the action. It's all at the final corner. Oh, and they need to be watching those track limits. They've got to be careful and watch the car there. Okay. Sh sure. Yeah. Just didn't break quite early enough. Okay. Whatevs, I guess. We have spike strips this year, yeah. <laughs> Chat, I'm trying to get into F1 but don't know how to get in it. Any advice? Um Starting go-karting when you were young is probably the best chance. <laughs> um... You mean watching it, obviously. Yeah, Drive to Survive on Netflix is apparently really good for that, right? Watch the recent sprint? Oh, okay, interesting. Was the sprint, was the last sprint even good? I'm trying to remember. Copy that. 
Driver feedback available. Yeah, the, the Netflix series on F1 is pretty good. Oh, 92%. Hell yeah. Hmm. Let's do that. Well, let's not do anything, to be honest. There's not enough time left. Check the flag. Um, yeah, yeah, the Netflix series Drive to Survive is a good way to, like, learn basic like who people are sort of stuff but that's more like drama -y things and like the technicalities of f1 and stuff signs was fastest okay oh because verstappen didn't use any softs all right okay practice free car set up untested what do you mean untested what do you mean? How is it untested? We tested it for ages. Do I need to call him in? Fuck's sake. Okay, we'll, we'll just simulate practice free, I guess. Um, we'll, uh... Missed out one lap to count as tested, right? We'll do that. See if that's better. Right, I'll just simulate practice for you, whatever. Perez was fastest, okay. Oh, like 95 and 90%. Okay, that's pretty... I mean, I'll fucking take it. That's good enough. Better preparation will help drivers maintain higher confidence for the rest of the race weekend. Starting confidence, okay. They're pretty confident. That's good. Not like super duper confident, but pretty confident. Welcome to qualifying. Yay. Let's find out if all that practice will pay off for the drivers. Okay. Bahrain's track is dusty and abrasive. And even under the floodlights, qualifying is tough on soft tires. Teams will need to use their tire allocations wisely. There's been a bit of talk about Alex Albon, Karim. How are things looking for him today? It's obvious that they're feeling confident today, and that's sure to be an advantage. I'm keen to see what they'll manage here. Okay. <laughs> Fortunately for us, it's nearly time for them to hit the track. These intro videos. Okay. Right, qualifying. This is when the actual shit starts. His confidence is medium. Albans is high. What was that thing we just saw then? What, what is this about? Okay. Um, he just never got gave me good cornering stuff. What the fuck is this? Didn't it, this setup completely change after what I did? Interesting. Ah, oh, whatever, man. I can't be bothered. Let's not fuck around with setup in qualifying. We'll just leave it. Um, yeah, soft tires. Oh, they used some... Oh, we had to give the softs back anyway. Right, okay. So there are... So we should have used more softs and stuff in practice. Because we give loads back. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, fine. So we're on the softs for quality. How many softs we got for quality? Uh, we only have two softs. We're not going to get to Q3. So let's not even worry about that. But I need to save two pairs of softs for the race. So. Oh, they, why did we use so many mediums? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, all right. Well, we'll see what happens. Qualifying. Um, right, okay. So, so here's the thing with qualifying is that you don't want to go out immediately. That's green now. The reason being is that the track will get grippier over time. Like the more people run on the track, the grippier it will get. 
So we want to be like behind people. Who do we want to be behind, really? I guess I'll send Alban. I, what I did last time as McLaren was I would wait for the faster cars to go out and then follow them, right? So I think I'll wait for... At two times speed, I'll wait to see a Red Bull go out and then I'll send Alban. And then I'll wait to see the other Red Bull and then I'll send Sergeant. But yeah, we, we really want to send them out like at the same time. Yeah. Oh, there's a Red Bull. Right, so there goes Alban. There's an Aston. Not that interested. Uh, come on. Take manual control. No, it's fine. We'll, we'll let him. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Both negatively and positively by on track events. You can keep an eye on each driver's confidence level here. A driver with higher confidence will have an increased performance and a lower risk of on track incidents. A driver with lower confidence will see a decrease in performance and have a higher risk of. Okay, got it. So that's their confidence, yeah, okay. So that's like a new feature, the confidence. That's why she's telling me about it. Take manual control. Manual control will give you full control over pace for your use of your strategy. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it automatic. Sergeant could follow a slow car for more draft. Yeah, but then if you get held up, right, when we are the slow cars, I don't know. I don't know. Any, any Red Bullers? Uh, any Red Bullers? I was gonna start his lap soon. That was a Hass or something. I really don't want to send them out at a bad time. Well, Albon started his lap, so I kind of want to watch that. Okay, we'll, we'll send them out by that Ferrari. Okay, in front of the Ferrari isn't quite ideal. All right, go on, Albon. Where's uh? There's the timings. Uh oh. Yeah, Sergeant may accidentally be holding people up a bit. We'll see. Right, go Albin. This is flying lap, right? Okay. We're setting a lap really early in the session, which doesn't seem ideal. I swear I used to be at a 4x with this view before, right? I guess I never really used it. And Albin sets a time of... Oh, better than Sonoda. A lot better than Sonoda. Okay, okay. Yep. Right, come on, Sergeant. Here he goes. Yeah, and Sergeant does a mm, worse than Sonoda. Oh, a lot worse. P six, P six, P six. P6, P6. Okay, go in, go in. <laughs> oh, oh, out of the way, out of the way, the Hass. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we need to put some fuel in Alvin's car. Keep those softs on. Um, we don't want to change any of this. Yeah. Put the shit back in the car. Okay. So we probably want to send them out, like, here, roughly? Let's speed up a bunch. Meow. Same for Sergeant. Don't really want to change anything. So everyone's out. Albin is going to get out of Q1, so that's good. Sergeant probably isn't, though. Okay, hold the phone a bit. We want to be able to see. There goes a Red Bull. Mm, there's an Alpine. There's Hamilton, Norris, 
As soon as I see another Red Bull, I'm going to send them both out. Or a Ferrari. Or the last Mercedes. All those two, I guess. Whatever. Alright, we're going out. Yeah, that's okay. They have clear air. That's okay. Okay. Alright, come on, guys. Please do some good times. Although, they do have a bit of traffic in front of them. Uh... What the fuck is this gameplay? Well, I mean, not much at the moment. We're just chilling. Oh, Perez is going to fucking be right in front of him. No, he's going to get held up by Perez, I bet. All right, Albon's going. Sergeant has clear air. Albon might get cucked by Perez. Oh, no, he got past Perez. Okay. That's all right. Check it flag. Check it flag. Okay, that's nice. Will Sergeant get past Perez alright? I mean, they're both green. Oh, Perez, don't hold me up. Okay. May have got held up there. We'll see. Uh, Albin is still in the green. Okay. As long as Albert improves here, we should hopefully get out of Q1. Okay, well, here they come. Albin. Oh, he didn't really improve. Oh, God. Sergeant got up to 16th. Okay, well, there's no one below us to snipe us. Damn. Just barely got out of Q1. Fuck. <sighs> what the fuck, Bottas? Oh my god, yeah, they're really slow. What the fuck? Jesus. Okay. Q2. Oh, agree to guarantee. Achieve sponsors guarantee. Did I just get... Is that a Steam achievement? I got a Steam achievement! Yay! Achieve a sponsor guarantee. I did it. Hooray! <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Sergeant got eliminated. 16th. I mean, that's okay. I think 16th is a decent effort. Oh, yeah, what happened to Piastri? Oh, Piastri had penalties, I think, right? Perez was first in Q1. Okay, right. Come on, Albon. Albon, Albon, he's our man. If he can't do it, Sergeant definitely can't. Okay. One flying lap. Got the tires. Let's go. Uh, let's not send out just yet. Again, as soon as I see a Red Bull like that one, that was a bit late. Oh yeah. Run the boards. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, that's really the only goal at this point is to try to beat Sonoda, right? I can't really do much better than that. Whoa, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, well, here comes this lap. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's stick to this view. Add the VR, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. We should not... Oh, our lap. My lap. Get the fuck out of the way, assholes. Unbelievable. God damn it. I got hassed, yeah. Well, it's definitely not worth using more tires, I think. We'll have to just use the softs again. Can't put new softs on. There's no way. Hello, Mitcha. Mm, I'm just getting held up everywhere. Uh, if I took manual control gogs, he probably, but he doesn't have enough fuel for that. Jesus. Three seconds off the pace. Fucking hell. Ooh. 
Well. Keep those softs on. Yeah, we need two softs in the medium for the race. One flying lap. Yeah. Okay. Not worse than Magnuson at least. Sure. But I mean, it ain't good, is it? try now. Jesus. Alright, Albin. Please don't get fucked this lap. There's nobody in front of you. Oh, come on, Albin. This is such a good spot. Go, Albin. There's no one in front of you. Probably going to start the lap a little bit later, but whatever, that's fine. It is used softs, obviously, but... Jeez, the way they take those corners is so dumb. <laughs> They're like, uh, 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 which is not correct. Check flag. Yeah, check a flag, that's nice. End of session. Yeah. No, yellow. It's because he was being told about the checkered flag that it doesn't matter. Do we improve? Oh, okay, up to 12. Okay, okay. What about Sonoda? Where is he? Yeah. Sonoda might. Oh, wait, wait. Aha! Sonoda's improving. That was the thing I wanted. Okay, so Noda improved, but he didn't beat us. I'll take 12. Hell yeah. Damn, almost fucking got... Shit, I was not that far off getting out of Q2. Alright, I'll take it, I'll take it. That's good for Albin, that's good. 12. Alright, didn't make it a Q3, that's okay. I'm happy with 12. 12th and 16th is pretty good for Williams. Jesus, Sergeant was like, yeah, so much slower. Okay. Giga Holborn again, yeah. The to the race! Has come for our drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. Oh. Race day has arrived. Oh, yeah. Bahrain has seen some of the most dramatic races in F1, like Sergio Perez's incredible 2020 victory, surging ahead from being last on the opening lap. Karun, what do you think of Logan Sargent's chances as we head into this race? I don't think there can be any real complaints over their performance so far. They know what's expected of them, and they're making sure to deliver. But right. which team has perfected the strategy that will see them prevail here at the Bahrain Grand Prix? Why do we care about Sonoda's performance? Well, it's, it's un, it was unlikely that we would beat Sonoda. So, Sonoda did bad, so we did good, right? And Sonoda was the last one behind us, so he was the only one that could have jumped us at the end. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Why are we looking at... There we go. Yeah, Sonoda hadn't finished his lap yet, and everyone else had finished their laps, so he was the only one that could have beaten our time and been faster. If that's what you mean. Okay. So. Strategy. We got strategy A, B, and C. I would say for Albon, we would go with strategy C. Could we do a one stop even? Hold on. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. So what we got? We can do... We could make a one-stop work. Right? Like, if we look at the thing here, but that's only if we don't push at all. So, so this screen, you set up your tire strategy for the race, and this determines, like, how much the driver pushes. So if we push at all, 
We're never gonna make it, right? Go for a zero stop. Yeah. I would say... I do have hard tire, but you don't want to use the hard tire. Maybe we can get Sergeant to try to do a one stop. We, we want to split the strategy, right? So we don't want to do the same strategy for both of them because they'll both be pitting at the same time, which is really bad. Um, on the right, you got the predicted race time. Oh yeah, right, of course. So we could, um, we could push a lot more, right? If you push this much. Um, like that. So if we, we just this would just be a pushing race, right? The temperature's not too high, I hope. Assign a race strategy in career mode on an achievement. Okay. Um, I don't think we do these ones. The other strategy, B would be if we then tried to get to the end of a one-stop, right? So if we uh, if we find ourselves with a safety car or something, we can do a one-stop to the end if a safety car happens. How early can a safety car happen? With a two-stop, it could happen really early. But strategy B is expected to be a lot slower. There is a 100% safety car chance. Um, yeah, so the earlier... I think even if a safety car happens super duper early... Let, let, let's say for sake of argument, a safety car happens at lap 10. Right? What do we do? Can we... We, we can easily use the medium, uh, extend the medium stint to make the, uh, make the soft stint better. Easily. Easily extend the medium stint. If we have to. Yeah, okay. So, 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 so Alban's pretty okay with safety cars. It would be if a safety car happened, like, here or something, that would be pretty bad. As long as it happens before or before our first or second stop, we'll be alright. But if it happens, like, here... If it happens... Okay, if a safety car happens once Albans on the mediums, we're pretty fucked. Because... We... We could just keep him out, I suppose. Yeah, if that does happen, then we could just... It depends how much he's worn the tires out, right? Because I haven't won fucking attack here. I definitely don't want to do that, I think. But we're just... Yeah, I... I feel like... If yeah, putting him on attack, he's going to fucking absolutely destroy the tires, but... We've got so much tire life left if we don't do that. That's why a two-stop seems weird. I feel like a one-stop is easily doable. Like this. But it says it's slower. So... Okay. The other option is to do soft, soft, medium, but... Yeah, no, you could definitely... We'd be picking really early on mediums, though. 
Now, I, I think if a safety car happens while we're on the mediums, we won't be able to extend them because we're burning through them. We won't be able to extend them to the end. I think Albin's screwed if a thing happens. I think we need to do this. Right? Yeah. That makes more sense, I think. So then if the safety car happens, and then, yeah, it's depending... If a safety car happens, like, you know, here, then it's possible we can extend to the end, right? We could always put hards on, couldn't we? We could always do, like, this at any point. If we had to. The earliest you could put hards on would be like... The hards are so slow though. Uh, no, hards are too slow. We don't want to use the hards at all. Uh, yeah, if, if a safety car happens here, we put on the mediums or the hards, depending on where we are in the stint. We go to the end. If a safety car happens here, we can put mediums on and go to the end. And if a safety car happens here, then we just stay out, right? I think that's the plan. Okay. For Sergeant, though... Um... Well, this is annoying. We want to start on the softs, obviously. But... I think Sergeant should just try to do a two-stop. I think a, ser a sergeant should try to do a two-stop the other way around. Right. Sergeant should try to go long. Yeah. But then the problem is, if a safety car happens, he's a little fucked. But if a safety car happens, then we just have to swap to softs, don't we? So... If a safety car happens... Let's say, how early could a safety car happen and we'd still make it on softs? I mean, pretty fucking early, right? Even if a safety car happened, like, here, we could still theoretically make it. Can't do one stop with both mediums. If you go, if you start on mediums, you will have to go on hards with an early safety car. No, I, I'm thinking two stop. We, we switch sergeant into a two stop. If we switch... Like, we'd, we'd switch to softs, and then go soft, soft. Yeah, yeah not, not, not hards to the end. And they, they only have one set of mediums anyway. So that's fine. So we can, we can get both strategies. Alban can do both strategies. But this is just faster. Sergeant... Sergeant can just do this. Just because he's going to get stuck at the back. And I can't just have him repeat Albin's strategy. Because then they're going to pit at the same time. 131.21.131.47. Hmm. Maybe the other way around's better. Maybe Sergeant should start on softs. And just hold out until a safety car happens. And then put on whatever the next tire is. Uh, 
Oh yeah, medium soft soft might make more sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so they, they don't pit on the same time. Yeah, Sergeant should just stay on mediums as like long as possible, I think. Just extend on mediums as long as possible. Oh, apparently this strategy is just faster. <laughs> Wait, what? How is this strategy faster? What? Oh yeah, because there's so much mediums being used here, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's the faster strategy. So just be really aggressive on a two-stop. Both of them. Okay. That works. Okay, let's do that then. Alright, let's do the race. Uh, we want them to go nuts at the start, as always. Oh, there's a top-up option now. Okay, interesting. That's better. Yeah, there needed to be one between Harvest and Neutral. Yeah, okay, cool. So you can sort of, like, build it up slowly without just fucking going into nothing. If there's a lap 15 safety car, what will Sergeant do? Uh, if there's lap 15, he can still, if there's lap 15 safety car, then you do this, right? You know, he can still make the end easily. Right, so max everything at the start. Okay, right. Uh, that's it. Let's do the Bahrain Grand Prix. Hooray! Here the floodlights are on, and it's nearly time for 57 laps around the Bahrain International Circuit. Okay. Yo Guan Yu will know exactly what's expected of him in this race. It's going to yep. be difficult for them. E18. <laughs> that's going to be tough to make an impression on the race from there. But there's no more time left. We've got a race on our hands. What? Okay, just talking about Joe for some reason. <gasps> the Rolex, it ticks over. Here we go. What? The Bahrain Grand Prix. All right, here we go. 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 And it slides out. Oh, I didn't even think about who was on pole. <laughs> All right, come on, Alban. Score some fucking points, Alban. All right, so we're on max everything. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's a bit of kerfuffle. Okay. Oh, baby. 
Oh my god, I can't really see anything with this camera angle. Sergeant, did Sergeant move down some positions? Or is he alright, actually? Right, now we got to watch all of our stuff. We don't want to, like, exert the car too hard right at the start. Um, wasn't there a... is entering a battle situation where they might need the extra power for an overtake attempt or to defend against one, then you can direct them to deploy energy as they see fit through battle assist. Okay. Battle assist. Use battle assist. We can use the overtake. Got me. Okay, right. Overtake available if required. Yeah, got ya. Yeah, got ya. Okay, so... So the battle assist... Okay, so I was about to say, there used to be an overtake option. But now you can just tick this button and tell them, hey, if you want to overtake, you can use it. Which is better system. That's a better system, because it was like weird you managing their overtakes for them. But uh, yeah, we'll use that bit early. No, 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 we're in the race, it's fine. We wanted them to try to get past at the start. What was that? His confidence is very high, very good. Sergeant's is medium. All right, come on, Alban. There's no DRS yet. Right, yeah, I guess we should cool it for a minute. And wait for DRS. That is true, yeah. Good point. We'll wait for DRS. Tire overheating, yeah, question joke. mark. Sergeant Low, He lost the position. Now there's the car of Piastri. Can they squeeze by? Apparently, yes. Okay. Very good. Um, tires overheating, right, yeah. We want to yeah, cool it on the tires a bit. You can afford to drop back. Okay. What was the strategy? Yeah. Finish the tires. Fuel will do balance for a bit. We've used a bit too much. We'll start the lifting post now. Copy, yes. Copy, yes. <laughs> oh, I hope there's some meme ones like with the Lando Norris one. Alright, so Sergeant is, uh, yeah, gonna be last. Joe's probably gonna get past him. Where's the freeze? Okay, the freeze is up there. Okay, whatever. Leclerc is purpling, interesting. What a weird setup. Perez is ahead of Verstappen. Alright, interesting. Any big lifts? Nah, I'm not playing the same team spot, so probably not. Hello, Gin Zone. Alright, so DRS should get enabled shortly. Oh, Freddy underscore can't zero shush just resubscribed for five months. Alban is so far back though. We're not even in DRS range. We have to fucking try to catch up a bit. Yeah. Deployed. Yeah, okay. DRS is Sergeant last? When did this happen? God damn it, man. Now we should be able to take a look here. Ah. At the final corner. The opportunity's there. Oh, kick.com is overtaking. No. Sergeant, please. Okay, well. Can use the overtake. Yep, copy. Whoop. Right, come on. Come on, Alban. Fucking keep in range of people, please. Okay, did he get DRS? I don't remember where DRS is. We apparently didn't get it, even though we're gaining on people. Okay, very cool. We'll turn that on, let them use the battery more. Use the overtake. Yeah, come on, Sergeant, get past. Sergeant! Overtake is available if needed. Okay, so DRS zone is here? Yellow? Someone spam, okay. Right, DRS. Yay! Bottas! Bottas! Oh, Bottas Racecraft. Wee! Wee! 
Oh, they're sad. Okay. All right. Okay. Wonderful. Bottas is last now. These tires are too hot. Right. So we can't push the tires because they're just getting too hot. Apparently. Okay. Great. Come on, Albin. You're right there, dude. Go, Albin. Get him. Fucking have him, mate. Welcome to Pirelli Tires. Yeah. Sergeant overtakes Joe? Yo, dude. Here we are. We're looking at turn 11. Yeah, get fucked, Alpha yeah, Romeo. Whoa. That was a bit close. And that sees them move up into 18. All right. Good, good, good. Come on, Alvin. Have some odor. Come on. Use all the battery. We must have DRS. Yeah, we do. But so what? Sonoda has DRS as well? Fuck it. Uh, no, we're never going to make a move from there. Okay, go to back to the top up. Nice job. Build this back up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant still needs to deploy, I think. But he's going to run out if we're not careful. Cool the tires. The thing is, I need them to push. Tire strategy is okay at the moment. We're okay for tires. This is expected tire wear. There's no reason to cool the tires down. This is this is perfectly expected tire wear. This is what we wanted. Uh, I never finished it, Red One. Yeah. Alban is DRS again. Sergeant needs to try to top up the battery. Need some recharge. Copy. Copy. Come on, Alban. Right, we're a little low on fuel because I did burn some, but that's alright. We'll probably regain it by the end of the race. And, you know, 100% chance of safety car, so... If a safety car happens, we'll save loads of fuel then. Come on, Alban. Oh, uh, my camera positioning is like really unfortunate here, isn't it? Uh, there's not really much I can do about that. No, that's even worse. I'll, I'll, I'll have to try to figure out a different camera position some other time. What's the tire wear looking like? I just looked at that. What the fuck is this camera angle? Um, there's been a few changes, Hiffens. I haven't really played that much, so I'm not really certain yet. Yeah, you don't care about the top 10, but you also can't see the lap counter, right? <laughs> but yeah, we're on track for we're on track for tire wear. It's not gonna rain or anything. No one's crashed yet. Oh, we're going really slow here. Sergeant is. Hanging in 18th. God, we're far behind. Alban. Damn it, Sonoda, we're just... Oh, we're stuck on a DRS train. Alban, you're supposed to be the conductor of the DRS train, not someone in it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Ha! <laughs> yeah, Larry. Okay, Sonoda surely gonna lose DRS. Come on, come on. Surely Sonoda doesn't have DRS this time. Okay, he doesn't. We're going. 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 Okay, what is this camera angle? Duh. Ah, oh, we didn't get him. Okay, all right. Well, that's fine. What tires is Sonoda on? Sonoda's on soft as well. As soon as I try to race anyone, I just have no chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. <laughs> oh, no, Alvin. Oh, no. They raced me too hard. 
Oh, that's a good radio message. Alright, it's fine. I'll we will get past eventually. Hopefully. Um, is tyre tire is fine. Like, we're so fine. We're so on track. Okay, it's time to start speeding up, I think. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Are they outside again? Turns onto the inside. Yeah! There we go. He's still there. They're still battling. Oh, we did it. Hell yeah. Replay. Here we are, then, reaching turn yeah, we just saw it in exactly these camera angles, I guess. Hooray! Alright, catch up to the ones in front, Alban. We've topped up the battery enough. Let's go back to neutral. The sound is really weird when you fast forward. Oh, oh we're defending a little bit. Uh-oh. Okay, we're alright, we're alright. Uh, how's Sergeant doing? We're just nowhere near anyone, right? <laughs> Sergeant's just on his own, driving his own race. Okay, great. Good, good job, Sergeant. You're doing great, buddy. Alright, if we could just gain, like, two positions of Albin, we'll score a fucking point. A point in my first race as Williams would be sick. Sergeant just exists, yeah. We're recovering fuel load. That's good. That's good. Yeah, Sergeant's on mediums. Yeah. He's chilling. Yeah. Grip's coming up. Why Alpha's so shit? I don't know, man. Because I'm playing as Williams, I guess. <laughs> this game was, like, made before they saw the whole season, right? So the balancing is kind of weird. Why isn't Verstappen lapping everyone? Oh, Verstappen's in the lead. If that helps. I know you can't see it because my camera's in the way, but Verstappen is in the lead. Just might come alive on the softs. We're... He's a fucking... He's like 10 seconds back on Albin, Ash. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Four times speed. Albin isn't really gaining on the guys in front of him. We do have a lot of battery. We could try to make some headway. Um, he does have Sonoda constantly harassing him. Which is kind of the problem. If we could just catch Gasly. Let's... let's Let's push a bit. And try to catch Gasly in front of us. Sergeant overtakes Piastri? Wait, what? Now this is Logan Wait, when did this happen? The opportunity begging to Yay! Okay. And ahead goes Logan Sergeant. Hell yeah! Start to close in now. Yeah, yeah go Albin, catch up. Sergeant just caught... What happened to Piastri? Wait, Norris is back here as well. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Whoa, shit, Albin is battling Gasly. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, top up the battery. Stop pushing so much. Chill out. Okay, 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 okay. Now, Alex Albon is part of this. There's the opening. We just got alongside. Alright, cool. See, there's, there's a lot less cinematic playing with fast-forwarding, it seems. When I played this without fast-forwarding before, we'd see everything like that. I'd catch it all, because we'd have to watch it in s fucking slow motion, right? Um, okay, Albon, we're like a second off of Ocon. We're one position away from a point. But I don't think like we can push up. Sergeant's getting harassed by Piastri still, maybe. Or is Piastri gone? Eh, he's kind of slow. How far are we into the race? This is lap 11. Yeah, sorry, my camera's in the way, right? Oh. Tires are too hot. Yes. That's nice. We don't care. We're, we're, we're burning them. It's fine. Use the tire. Let's fuck the tire temp. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, okay, and... Does the confidence change during the race? Oh, Albon's at peak performance, dude. <laughs> 
Uh, sergeant's all right. Oh, what? Oh, what? You can instruct them to respond to a number of different situations that might occur on the track. For example, when trying to overtake. This gives you more control over driver behavior while allowing you to manage the level of risk they will take. Oh. There are several other unique situational tactics that drivers can also use, from avoiding dirty air to not battling with a teammate. Okay. So there's more tactics stuff now. Hold on. So if we click the tactics button, we can see their confidence. Then we have overtake aggression. Uh, so he'll take more risks when overtaking, but he'll overtake more. Defend approach. We can always defend or rarely defend. Yeah, we can do team orders. Huh. That heli defender has to be Bottas, yeah. But I mean, I guess if it's like, if we're around people, we're not battling. Like if I was had a Red Bull or something behind me, you could use that. But yeah, okay. Then, uh, fuck it. Just keep your position, Albin. And also, uh, thingy. <laughs> Sergeant. Yeah, that's alright, Jace. There's a few new features here and there. I keep finding a new one every now and then. Alright, Alwyn, no land past. How's the old, uh... Yeah, we're at peak performance. Pit options. Yeah. No, Alban. Oh, no! Performance is his, his over. His confidence went down. Now just keep your eyes on Gasly here. Yeah, rip. It's there for the taking. Did I lose a second to Gasly since turning that on? Maybe he was just managing his tires or something. Okay. Well, uh, shit. Yeah. I mean, if we're in within DRS range, I mean that's fine. We can just chill in DRS range. Oh hey, thanks. Zephyr underscore Cloud just resubscribed for thirty-seven months. Hello, Josh. Welcome back. Thanks, Zephyr Cloud. Thanks for thirty-seven months. Hello. How's it going? Oh, I remember something that's missing. I'm not playing music. I played music before, didn't I? No, Sonoda. What the fuck? Yeah, is it because I changed that setting? How weird. Right we can take a look now. Now we're at turn 11 now. Can oh. they squeeze by? It was just a DRS I say, Crofty. I don't know why you're freaking out so much. No, Alban. Hmm. Uh, yes. Because Meadowlands it is, yeah. Oh, he might get past here. Or not. Oh! No. You can use more battery. Use more battery, Elvin. Try. try harder, Elvin. Come on. Yeah, is it the always defend? I don't know. I don't know what those buttons do yet, really. Right, come on, Alvin. Oh, that's a short DRS straight. On the long one, you should have him? Well, I want to leave it and see what happens, Remo. Like, see if I actually see if it has anything to do with it. No, his confidence is going down. Always defend my him, go defensive in every corner. Hmm. Doesn't seem to. We have DRS again. Maybe? 
Yeah, I thought it would make him only defend if there was someone actually behind him, right? I mean, if someone right behind him, Piastri is like constantly on Sergeant. Oh, there's a Sergeant train. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you can deploy the battery and maybe even a bit of fuel. Copy. Go, Sergeant. Like to reach you, like co Copy. Copy. Well, I guess Albin's just stuck behind Sonoda now. How long have we got to the pit stops? What are we doing? Ooh, Albin's tires are a little lower than expected, but that's probably okay. We're still, we can still pit within this window, perfectly fine. They're a little bit lower than expected. Come on, Alban. Oh, what's this warning? Is a crash? Oh fuck! Here we are then at the eleventh corner. Barely any room to maneuver. Oh, oh come on. No! Sergeant. Oh, no. We took some minor suspension and chassis damage. And the front tire got pretty fucked. Front right got really fucked up. Shit. Okay. I guess we have to pit Sergeant in now. Is it a safety car? Wait, I got a penalty for that? Sergeant got a penalty for this. What? <laughs> Did Sergeant get a penalty for that? Fucking hell, really? Why? What? I, d I, I, there's a replay, I can't like watch it again, but like what? I don't feel like it was Sergeant's fault. Oh no, his confidence. Okay. Yeah, is it because of the always defend thing? Well, fuck. Well, uh... I guess we have to pit for the softs now. Let's just edit the strategy, right? Where's the strategy? Uh, this one. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, okay, so we're right on C, so we can switch to C now. If we go straight to C, we should be able to... We can get to the end. Yeah, there we go. So we'll switch, switch him to strategy C, we'll pit him right now, which is exactly when we want to pit him. Get him in, get those fucking messed up tires off. Yeah, front right was totally fucked up. Get him in, and hopefully he's alright. Yeah, time penalty, sergeant. Five seconds. Collision caused. Come on, man. Okay. Right, there's no safety car. Oh, was that an overtake that just happened? Did Albert just get passed by Sonoda? Did I just see that? Okay. How many laps to go? We're on lap 16 of 57. Yeah, they're both pitting in. Five second penalty, fuck's sake. All right, come on, guys. Good pit stop. Good pit stop. Well, we, okay. <laughs> we got the penalty to serve. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, well, 2.6 seconds. Oh, 12 fastest pit stop. Woo. Focus on your tires for the moment. Yeah, so now we need to... Now Sergeant has to just worry about it. It's just to get to the end now for Sergeant. Ugh. Okay, meanwhile, Alban stuck in fucking 13th again. We could pit, but it's a bit early. 
We'll wait until it's optimal. Maybe Omega. Only if you're playing as Alpine, yeah. Yeah, the tire graph for Sergeant was pretty... that's pretty sad. Yeah. Oh, here goes Albin. Come on, Albin. Oh! 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 Yeah! There we go. Come on, England. Oh, we keep the DRS as well, because the DRS detection for it is all the way over there. Let's see what happened there. <laughs> Nice. It was okay. The Williams driver we see there. They decide to give it a go. Yeah, maybe Bottler, maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it on for a bit. We'll see what happens. All right, back up to twelve. Okay. I don't know why I watched the replay of the thing I watched. Perez is doing fastest lap. Verstappen's up there. I wonder if I could have just put hards on Sergeant, just made him go to the end. Probably not worth it, right? I think I calculated it. Soft, soft is better still. Okay. I don't know if there's much point in doing that, Freddy, seeing as we're going to pit soon anyway. Mm. Like, we're, we're due to pit in a couple laps. It might be better to just stay out. Just, uh, just... Stay, stay where we are. Let's go Even push. Okay. Okay. We have tire life, so I can push a bit harder. Actually, do we? Oh no! Shit, we're under tire life. No, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! <laughs> happy to manage tire short term. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, the good old Alban DRS train. Sort of. Nah, he's not overtaking. Yeah, people are pitting. Yeah, we'll see what happens after the pits. I'll get Alban to push on, like, his out and in lap. This is his... Yeah, next lap is his in-lap, right? Or is it this lap that he should push? I can never remember how this works. Do I want to pit now? Yeah, this is the last lap. This is this is when he needs to pit, isn't it? So I'm going to go on to new pair of softs. Oh, wait. Oh, I can say this lap or next lap. Oh, interesting. That's better. Okay, so I can, like... I can prep the pit, like, a lap early now. Okay. That's good. That's a good change. That was annoying before. More we'll box this lap. Alright, fucking go nuts, box Alban. Box, box. And let's go push. Hammer time. Yes. Full deploy. Full deploy. Copy. What's, uh... Yeah, I, I've seen it. There's no point flashing this to me. His oh, sergeant's car's a little bit broken. Yeah, I don't really think Sergeant's going to do much from back there now. Hey, Josh, box this. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Alright, go, Alban. In, 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 in. Yeah, I, I forgot to play music. I, sh I normally play my eye racing soundtrack when I play this, but I, I forgore. Yes, Alright, here we go. Please don't fuck the pit stop. Copy that. Uh huh. What wheel do I have? Just a Logitech G29. The animations of the jump. 2.7? Come on, you did a better one for Sergeant. Be close on exit. Uh oh, close on exit. Okay. Well, this is uh, kind of unfortunate. Let's try and build this back up. Copy. This is a this is a shitty spot. Uh, behind the two alphas. 
I hope everyone isn't doing a one stop. Uh, Holkenberg pit, Leclerc pit, Norris lock up on turn eight. Now this happens down at turn eight. And there goes the steering. Now they where was the very late. where was the smoke? There was the sound effect with all any smoke. Okay, whatever. But yeah, I I, I hope I'm on the right pit strategy because it doesn't look like anyone else is doing the same. This is unfortunate, being stuck behind this fucking... Maybe we do just need to get past. Okay, Alex, we can start reducing lift and coast. Copy. Mm, well... Uh, I pretty it happens automatically, Remo. Uh, no, nah, it's, it's single player, 615 Eden. I wish it was multiplayer, that'd be really cool. Just pump drafting, yeah. Please get past Albert. I know you have like no battery, but please. Please, we need this. Okay, you should have DRS. Pretty sure he got DRS, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, Albert managed to get DRS. That's a fucking beautiful place to overtake. Good shit. Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> Interviewing for Alpine right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sergeant is sort of catching Piastri a little bit. Let's get Sergeant to top up a little bit. Yep. If Sergeant gets within, um, wait, why is it three seconds? That wait, what the fuck just happened? Okay, okay that was kind of weird. What? Why are these numbers doing? Anyway, if he gets a bit closer to Piastri, we'll be able to get past. Now, Alban just needs to get past Joe. This wasn't a good time to stop, was it? I put him out in traffic. I should have checked where he's going to come out. I did a fucking Ferrari classic and got him to come out of the pits into traffic, which was really stupid. Oh, first happened fastest lap. Woo. We're going to have an overtake here? Okay, sure. Yeah, I guess. Okay, bye, Joe. Sure, I'll take it. While trying to like top up the battery, okay. Okay. It means we won't have DRS for the next two straights, but whatever. Right. DeFreeze is pitting. Oh, yeah, he'll come out behind us. I need to speed this up. I'm running out of real lifetime quite rapidly. <laughs> Uh, okay, hopefully people start pitting. I think we're okay in a stable situation, right? Hamilton pit so stop issue. So in comes Lewis Hamilton. But there's a problem jacking up the car. What? You mean jacking down the car, right, Karun? <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, Alvin's got Norris in front of him now. Wait, I, I'm pretty sure I'm further back than where I was, right? Uh, there's a bunch of people that haven't pit yet, but... Mm, okay, let's go neutral for a minute. See if we can catch Norris here. But am I... We should get DRS over this line, right? As long as Alban can keep up. Yeah, it looks like it. So we'll get DRS here. Sonoda's pitting, Gasly's pitting. Okay. Uh, Norris pit, but that's fine. We got DRS off of him. Okay, that's fine by me. Go, Alban. Where's Gasly? He's way in front of us. We should get DRS again, though. Maybe we gain a bunch here? Why is there a DRS? Oh, no, there is another detection zone. Never mind. 
Did I overcut Sonoda? Okay. Sergeant! Oh my god, he's so slow. Fuck. Oh yeah, undercut, yeah. I mean... Hell of an undercut. Alban... It doesn't even say Gazzy's pit yet, that doesn't make any sense. Magnuson hasn't pit. Lance Stroll just went into the pits now. I think this is just our position now, right? Retire Sergeant to save parts. But imagine his confidence. Oh, it's pretty low already. Albans is high. He's still on mediums. But it would still say that he pit, right? We'll see. Maybe when he goes over the line. Uh, Gasly's on soft foot. Yeah, there we go. He needed to do a lap. Look, okay. Magnuson hasn't pit yet. Yeah, so he's on. Magnuson's on mediums. Stroll just pit. Yeah, so Magnuson is still out there on all mediums. Maybe we get past him then. We might be a stop ahead, but... Ah, uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get a point this race. Oh, another car spun. Oh yeah, we haven't had our safety car yet, have we? Yellow head, yellow head. Magnuson span. Oh, okay, well, there you go then. <laughs> okay. Why does it say driver? You couldn't have loaded their name? Okay, whatever. Minus one fuel? No, we're, we're fuel's fine. That's like, we'll, we'll regain that. Rookie move. Uh, it wasn't a safety car or anything. Magnuson kept going. Leclerc's purpling, but still five seconds behind Verstappen. Okay. Magnuson didn't have fresh tires on. These are his old tires still. Sergeant did get a position. Oh my god. Wait, when did that happen? I didn't get a replay thing. Did Bottas just pit or something? <laughs> oh, right here we can see Ho's pit. Right. Ah, oh, I didn't see Sergeant overtake. Poor Sergeant. Bottas just pit? Okay, alright, well. Well, that'll do it then. Alright, well, Sergeant's not last. Whoopee! Oh, Alban. Oh, come on, be in DRS, Alban. Be in DRS. Surely he's in DRS. Ooh, maybe? We're about to find out. He was not in DRS. Damn it. True, Omega, but I mean, everyone seems to be doing a t two stop, right? People don't seem to be like they're doing a one stop. Also, I, I did accidentally make the tires go a lap longer than I was supposed to. Yeah, I should have pit one lap earlier. Whoops. Meow. Okay, well. <laughs> okay. In the second corner. The opportunity's there. Okay. Moves up a place into Rip. Beatings will continue until morale improves. We're like two seconds off Gasly now. Uh, we were about to DRS in. But maybe, maybe it's like tire temps, like when you first put them on in the pit stop or something. That one's confidence is pretty high. I don't think uh, it's uh, Sergeant's isn't. Oh dear. Nope, Sergeant may be overtaking someone. Oh, Magnuson finally pit. Okay, we're up to 12. Oh, we're two positions off. 
a fucking point. Ugh. That's frustrating. We know the car is shit, just drive it. Come on, Sergeant. Come on, Sergeant, don't be lost. You can do it, buddy, even with your damaged car. Yeah, Hulkenberg pit. Everyone's pit at this point. Um, although some people I would think are going to the end on these tyres. Like this lot, maybe. I'm not sure. Meow. Okay, well, I need to speed this up a bit because I have to... I don't have all the time in the world to stream, so... <laughs> I wouldn't normally 16x things, but yeah, nothing's really happening right now. Yeah, we're just maintaining gaps. Oh, shit. He could probably go neutral. Albin has gap in front of him. Yeah, neutral's fine. You can use a bit more fuel. Yeah, it just seems like a safety car isn't going to happen, even with a 100% chance of it. I guess Sergeant can use his battery for a bit. He's got clear air. How are we on tyre strategy with Sergeant? Yeah, perfectly fine. We've got loads of tyre left. I'm going to actually put him in aggressive. Try to, try to gain some time, Sergeant. Oh, okay. It's working. Oh, Sergeant just overtook Piastri. We just missed it. <laughs> Did Piastri pit? Oh no, no, he overtook him. Here we are, we're looking at Yay! Rain in 10 minutes. I don't think it's going to rain in Bahrain. I think we're alright. Hooray! Okay, good stuff. Okay. We should probably uh, put this back down. Logan Sergeant made a position. So that's good. Albin's just miles behind Gasly at this point. I don't see us catching him. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now we're at turn 11 now. The opportunity begging to be taken. Ah. Uh... Thoughts on the new Baldur's Gate? I've never played a Baldur's Gate ever, so I don't really have any opinion. Come on, Sergeant. Oh, we just got lapped. Okay, great. Blue flags. Yay. Fucking blue flags. Okay, I've got to remember to play it 2x at least. Alvin is miles away from anyone. Oh my word. Just a lonely 12th place. Holkenberg and Gasly are battling. We have too much fuel. Forts and San Andreas. Come on now. Well, might as well get Alvin to deploy a bit. Do some fast laps, I suppose. Yeah, we're getting close to pit stop. It's just so far away from anyone. Sergeant sort of caught Piastri and then just lost him immediately. Oh, I've almost got them pitting on the same lap. Whoops. That's pretty silly. The window is open. Window is yeah. open. Oh, yellow. Yellow, oh, okay, yellow went away. I don't know what that yellow was about. We're getting lapped, ugh. Okay, so... 
Next lap, we pit for Fresh Softs. No, he was always 12, Chase. Check the DRS. Yeah, copy. Oh, shit. We ran out of ERS. Fuck. This back up. Yeah. Whoops. I kind of left Alban in pushing and he ran out of battery and fuel. Whoops. Yeah, not too much, Freddy, to be fair. Tires slightly overheating. Okay. So we want you to pit next lap for your final set of softs. Let's see how this next lap thing works. So Sergeant should pit now. No, Sergeant's going to pit next lap. Okay. That's correct. And Alban won't pit now. Oh shit, Alban needs mediums. Oh fuck, you're right. Yeah, shit, 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 shit. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, that would have been so bad. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just put softs on him? Oh my god. Yikes. That would have been terrible. Okay, Russell pit in front. Nearly ferrari or was that a race where Alban just was on the hards the entire time until the last lap and then he put softs on <laughs> for one lap? Okay, Sergeant should pit. Okay, Sergeant is pitting. Okay. Pit stop. Okay, bye. Oh, Jesus. 2.6, that's fine. Okay. Hooray, Sergeant. Okay, then we standard and every normal. Okay. It was a sharp exit. Oh my god, Alban. Oh, Sonoda's catching Alban. Box. Box. Copy that. Alright, well, now we're putting the mediums on. And we go super hard on the mediums to the end. Yeah, I don't know, Master, but it feels like it, doesn't it? They're kind of weird. I wonder if it's because I'm playing at two times speed. Alright, please get past Norris. Yeah, so now we just go fucking hog wild on these tires until the end, apparently. So they're probably gonna heat up loads. Oh hey, thanks. White Wing Devil just resubscribed for 61 months. Ayo Josh, hope Hello. all is well. Time for my 2 a.m. coffee. Yeah, it's alright, White Wing. Thanks for 61 months. Hello. Enjoy 2 a.m. coffee. <laughs> Which is a thing. Come on, Alban. Get past Norris, please. Get past Norris, please. Get... Get past Norris, please. Okay, thank you. You're at work in four hours. Oh, jeez. Oh, Norris! Whoa, no, what? Uh, Alban! Yeah, okay. Yeah. And here, we've got a yellow flag. What? They were just battling. Oh, and the cars oh come on. What the fuck was that? No. Oh, Alban got a penalty? Keep pushing. Let's have a look at Why did Alban get a penalty? They took turn eight. The gap opens up for them. And 
that 16th place now. <laughs> Great replay. Yeah, maybe this fucking... Maybe this overtake and defend stuff is, uh, is a bit too risky. No, his confidence is very low. Albany. Oh my god, what's, what happened to his tires, actually? 93%. Hmm, I reckon he's fucked his tires a bit. We might have to manage that. Oh, five second penalty. Oh, okay, well this race is over. Fucking hell. Is it just because I had this stuff turned on or what? Well, that sucks. No, his tyres were fine. They're all evenly distributed, so I could probably leave it on the attack. But and go push. <sighs> oh well. Yeah, I mean, I get it increases the risk, but I didn't think it'd be like. Both my drivers would crash in the race. Yeah, still no safety car, yeah. Well, I hope there isn't one at this point, because if there is, Albin's pretty fucked. Sergeant is 21 seconds behind Norris. Oh my fucking Christ. Jesus. Sergeant, please. Yeah, maybe, Freddy. Yeah, I should just, like, actually toggle these since they're just leaving them all the time. Rip. Um, there were safety cars, I think, Jace, yeah. Pretty sure. Oops, why am I not watching in fast forwards? I don't have time. <laughs> Alright, well, I feel like the race is pretty over now. Now we're just going to leave them both in neutral. Their tyres are going to be their tyres for the rest of the race. I don't think there's much else to be doing, right? Albin's getting lapped now. Even if we catch Joe, it doesn't really matter because we have the five second penalty there. Joe Pitt. Okay. I wish this highlighted both my... Oh, it, Sergeant is highlighted. Sergeant might catch Bottas. 15 laps left. I do need the 15th place at least. That's true, right? Ah, shit. Oh. Let's freeze lock up on turn 8. Right, let's have yeah, right, of course. The, the sponsor the goal. You guys are right. I need to get 15th. And the car just locks. They took a gamble and it was just too late. Okay. <laughs> 15 laps to go. Uh, fuel's fine. Tires are all good. Sonoda lock up. Everyone's fucking locking up. Now this, I think, was at turn thirteen. Very heavy on the brakes, and they ended up their own passenger. Why is there no particle effect anymore for the locking up? What the hell happened there? All right, Albert's up to fourteenth. He's catching Sonoda. I don't know, we just need to stay like five seconds ahead of Norris, right? We should be okay. Hopefully. Just stick with Sonoda. It seems like Norris is really slow, so we're alright. It's a no smoking track, right? I like how they all go off track here, but. <laughs> okay. Albon might have an overtake here. Let's give him a bit more juice. Yeah. There we go. We overtook Sonoda. Alright. Now Alex Albon is part of this. It's there for the taking. Uh, uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. Good stuff. Sergeant's got loads of fuel as well. He could probably use a bit more. 
Uh, he can't. Alonso locked up on turn 13. Let's have a look at the action. It's all at the final corner. The oh, now there's smoke. Broke. By that point, it was just too late. What the fuck is happening? Everyone's locking up. Register lift and co. Lift and co. Okay. Oh, uh, we should go back to top up. Uh, yeah, Albon has Sonoda right behind him, but oh, now the freeze as well. The freeze might catch us, maybe. There's only ten laps left. Oh, there was a yellow for a bit then. Hulkenberg locked up. Let's have a look as we go yeah, the, the fuel is a bit of a concern at the moment. The car failed to respond. What caused that? Okay, all right. Fuel's fine. We'll make it. I hope. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, not Sergeant's fuel. Ah, oh, fuck. I left Sergeant in high fuel. Fuck. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, rip. Sergeant might not make it. <laughs> Hopefully Albon will. Where is Albon? Why can't I find him? Oh, he's there. Sonoda right on his ass again. How are we doing for tyres? Yeah, we're on target. Yeah, the tyres are fine. I know they're hot, but they're fine, guys. Oh, Sonoda took Albon. Okay. Now we okay. This one is involving Yuki Sonoda. Can they squeeze by? No. Okay, very good. Yeah, now back to fuel again. Refine now. Yep, 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 yep. Back to neutral for Albon. Maybe he can keep up with Sonoda. Maybe. Yeah, okay, we're past Sonoda again. Uh, I'm not gonna bother watching the replay, it's just a DRS overtake in the last corner. Good for fuel again. Okay, blue flag. Yeah, 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 tires. Yeah, 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 whatever. Six laps left. Yeah, there's not really much to be doing now. Albon just... The Sonoda right behind Albon doesn't matter. Norris is ten seconds back, so he's not going to get us with a five-second penalty. Oh, for fuck's sake! Play shot. What? What? Albon, what? Now this happens down at turn eight. No, oh, no! Why'd they go? But all being well and fingers crossed, no lasting damage to the car. Albon, please. Yellow ahead. Copy. We Let's just watch this, right? Look. Now this is what happened as they took turn eight. Oh, the one I watched was the overtake, and not the, the lockup. Lock Fuck's sake. Okay. Oh god. Well we need to get oh. <laughs> Norris is right behind us now. No. I mean, I guess that makes it so we're 15th, but then the freeze is right behind them, right? So we're going to lose 15th. Albon needs to get a fucking move on. Again. Fuck. Come on, Albon. I guess I do have him in attack, right? Like, that's the problem. The strategy just wasn't that great. I, I should have just got them to do a one-stop, I think. I think a one-stop would have been better. You've got a bit of fuel. You can push for a minute. Suggest no Lyco into turn one. What? Suggest no Lyco into turn one. What? Sergeant's just knows no point doing anything to Sergeant. He's nowhere near anyone. Oh, uh, it's low. Right. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, we're five seconds ahead of Norris again. It's okay. Put the fuel back down. There's like four laps left. Just Albon just has to keep it together and we'll be alright. And we wouldn't have lost anything. 
Ooh, Norris is catching a little. Yeah, right, there was a 100% chance of a safety car and it didn't happen. Oh god, I hope the fuel's okay. Oh no, Norris is right there. I can't make Albin go any faster. Well, I guess we're going to get 15th, but... DeFreeze shouldn't catch us. Yeah, that's okay. Whatever, I guess. Three laps to go. Sergeant's just... Sergeant and Piastri are just fucking nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Sonoda is miles behind a Magnuson and Holkenberg. Gasly's mild behind Russell. I mean, that one makes sense. Like, th this top eight makes sense, sort of. Except Ferrari, I suppose, but... The rest doesn't make that much sense. Norris is four seconds back to freeze. Okay, it's still pretty close. Uh, this is closer than I would like. Oh, there's a yellow. Oh, Magnuson Span. Let's see what happened there. Oh, all right so far. And that's it. That's the spin. Not a mistake. They'll want to make again. Okay. Okay. Totally sure what's happened. Are you serious? There's a crash involving multiple cars. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What the fuck? Oh, Perez overtaking a back marker. It's the last lap. Do not safety car. Please do not safety car. Oh my god, there isn't a safety car. Thank fuck for that. Perez just fucking murdered one of the Hasses, like, totally out of the blue. Okay. Alright, we're fine. How many laps do we have? This is the final lap. You can be aggressive with that over to Q's edge. Copy. I forgot because we got lapped, we actually have, like, more tire life. Oh shit, we lost loads of tire life with the fucking... Whoops. When we locked up, we lost loads of tire life and I didn't check. Oh god. All right, last lap. I think we can reduce lifting coast. Get it to the end, Alban. Let's go. Okay, well, maybe we should leave it on that, actually. Oh! We overtook Magnuson! Yay! Magnuson's, like, fucking... Oh, Magnuson's, like, damaged. Oh, shit. Magnuson's actually, like, really fucked. Maybe we build enough of a gap? Yeah! Over the finish line Whoa. And Max Verstappen wins Anyway, come on Albon I'll take 14th That'll do, that's okay Considering what happened, two places Off 12th Or whatever is okay I'll take it Hooray Across the line Albon! Okay, check a flag. 14th! Really solid job there, mate. I think you did well. He's not the end of the world. Yeah, thank you, guys. Okay. <laughs> We'd like to increase the like And Sergeant 15, 19th, even. Maybe check a flag. Qualified P13, race P13 is good for Williams. Yeah, I suppose. It's actually 14th, but yeah. True. Very true. Okay. I would have liked points, though. Just on the cusp of points. But alas. Hooray! I got an achievement. Complete your first Grand Prix. What a disaster of a drive for Logan Sargent. <laughs> well, I think most people expected them to really deliver here. But it's a disappointing finish outside the points. Okay. Verstappen can add yet another podium to his already impressive record. 
their first win of the season and the team looking on will be very proud I'm sure <laughs> certainly kick things off in style here at the Bahrain Grand Prix right Now, Karu, no doubt there'll be a lot for the teams to process after that race. But how do you think the Williams team are feeling? Well, it was a bit of a mixed bag here. Some things went their way, but others didn't. <laughs> I think their main target now will be finding some consistency for sure. R right, thank you, Karun. And that is about that for this weekend's action here in Bahrain. And the teams now look ahead to the next round where they'll do it out in the sand dunes of Saudi Arabia. Hooray! Two crashes, one lock-up, two penalties. Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> Fuck oh, it hey, hell. thanks. Yowie69 just resubscribed for 24 months. Thanks to it Sneakizako for my sub gift. What is your favourite duck? My favourite duck. Long boy. All right, well, we're not last. We're ninth, huh? Alpha Romeo is last, huh? Huh? How did McLaren get better than us? Oh, because Lando Norris finished above. Yeah, okay. And Alpha Tori. Yeah, okay, Sonoda. And Alpha, yeah, Alpha Romeo were uh, fucking, yeah. Okay, ninth in the constructors for grand total of zero points. So this is what I mean. It's like if I get one point, like every single point for Williams matters. I need every single point. Whenever there's a any point chance, you gotta grab it. Okay. Well, uh, wait, what? Oh, okay, that's... <laughs> I, I was like, what the fuck am I reading? But I know, okay, but this is the this is the pit stops. This is the pit stops. <sighs> okay, I didn't get any fastest pit stop points either. Wonderful. F1 manager any point percent speedrun, yeah, with Williams. Oh, we're ninth in the pit stops as well. Woo! Okay, yep. That's great. Good. Qualified 12th, came 14th. Sergeant did alright. Well, no, he did terribly, what am I saying? <laughs> okay. Oh, I got a bunch of sponsor money, right? Because I did the... I did the finish position. I didn't get Q3. And I did the qualifying position and I reached Q2. So that's good. So I earned some more money from the sponsors. Hooray! Okay, well that's... Uh, oh, my helipad. Oh, the precious, precious helipad. Okay. We'll end with the glorious helipad on level 2. Um, but yeah, that'll be me done for now. I need to leave. It's exactly 5 p.m. So that was uh, pretty fucking perfect timing if I do say so myself. That's exactly when I needed to end by. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks a lot for watching everyone. That was a good laugh. Um, yeah, the game seems improved in like subtle ways. Like, you know, ways you would expect that one year's worth of development would be improved. So... I don't know, I'll keep playing, I'll keep finding the new stuff. We'll see what that durability stuff is like. But yeah, at least every single race isn't just a DRS train forever now. So that's better, I suppose. I don't know how realistic that is, but that's a thing at least. Um, yeah, I'll continue my Williams campaign. The, the struggle for points. I need to get better at using the pause and fast forward though. I'm so used to like not using them. When I did that pauseless, fast forwardless campaign, but at least the game, the races will get over a bit quicker now and stuff. All right, cool. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I am gonna go play in a Magic: The Gathering tournament. Yes, that's a thing that I said that I'm doing. Apparently, 
And I'll uh, see you all tomorrow for the usual schedule content I suppose. Alright, see ya. Bye.